Yes. I don't have a liquid. Yes, I don't know. Nowhere near it. I would start my car for that. What are you talking about? 150 quid. I don't think your car's worth 150 <laughs> quid. <laughs> about starting it. Do you Do, does that car actually start? Does that, it? Do does you, it start? Do you mind? Do you know how big that engine is in that? <laughs> when I've got a mouthful of drink, please. <laughs> oh, oh, please. So I was having some of these emails and Caesar, thank you for bringing back the Elvis Hour. It was always my favourite part of your capital shows uh, to show you how pleased I am of attached to the Elvis track. Oh, really? Okay, what's the. <laughs> He just blocked the screen out. I can't I see couldn't what, hear what you were saying. Couldn't hear what you were saying. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Great. I'll have a look at that. So that was at Twitter. What's this about Twitter? You got another follow out of you? Oh, they are. See. Then there, there was my email that come through, which was my show. Good. Hey, it's good to see that. Excellent. Right, so come on, I want to see some input, please, from uh, you at home, if you're going to find the show, find up and give us an chat. That'd be nice. Uh, and then, uh, what else? What are you doing now? I'm just having a quick look on Facebook uh, for you. I okay. call it something else, but I can't call it that on air, because if I start calling that, yeah. they'll get upset with us. So. Okay, all right, that's fair. <coughs> See, well, I've got an ache in my knee. My knee really uh, aches. Yeah. Is it really? Well, the side of my face uh, aches. Oh, they are. Oh, you've got a face ache, have you? <laughs> yes. Oh, OK, OK. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. No, 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 no. Not much. Sunday, isn't it? You've got all religious on on me, I say. Chinese. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Stop putting your hand on my knee. It's not my hand. I know. It's not my hand. What is that? That's not my hand. That's not my knee. What is that? It's a bit loud, whatever it is. Is it? Yeah. I'll put it away, Vince. <laughs> can I just <laughs> can, I, can I just say when you said you were going to take your top off I thought you were messing around no I'm hot it is hot I will give you that it's like a sauna in here it is actually so that's why I took my top off stop staring at the nipples is that what they are stop it Jason's got that look in his eyes, actually. Yes, I've seen that before. Yeah, he has. He's got that little twinkle in his yeah, blue eyes, have seen he? that look before at G-A-Y yeah. in London. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, look, yeah. Look, look, look at him, look. Yeah, look. <laughs> Here, sees. Yeah. Pass me the baby on. <laughs> That's going on Facebook. Wait, I'm talking to you. Yeah, go on, what? What, what? I said, you know why it's so quiet? Why? Tonight is the closing ceremony of the... Uh, yeah, the Olympic Games. Olympic Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody's watching that because you've got so many people on it. People want to be listening to the radio. Well, this is it, but you can have the telly on and listen to the radio. That is personally what I would do. Not if you want to listen to the Spice Girls. Ain't. Well, we can play the Spice Girls. <laughs> I know that, but... There's plenty I mean, of Spice Girls on there. Apparently there's going to be loads of surprises on there, you know. <laughs> Well, there's been a few surprises on here, really. Thank goodness the old webcam's not on tonight. Thank God for that. Yeah. Actually, we should get one in here, you know. Yeah, it would be good, wouldn't it? Why are you there and that's kind of over there? What? Oh, there, that's better. I'm here now. Yeah, that's all that. But I can't see you. That's all I like. You can't it's... see me. No, I can't see your face. Oh, there. Are. Well, how about that? Look, is that better? That's much better. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there we are. So, Dan. And what about this? Can you, can you see my face now? Oh, yes. yes. Look can, at can that. You can you see my face got now? Got a few spots on there. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a couple of spots. Okay, so you can see my face from that angle. Well, that's good. That's good. That was, that was that's unbelievable. Good. Yeah. Speaking of the white cliffs of Dover, um, <laughs> it's hard to see that. Dan, what are you doing? Uh, I'm quitting after that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he started to trend, clearly. Yeah, I know, but, yeah, but that's, that's just uh, uh, front. Gross. <laughs> that was gross. I mean, you got to remember, I was on the back, he's on the front. <laughs> <laughs> outrageous. For those of you at home trying to figure out what we're talking about, I said, well, you see, Bruce has done a mooning. It was outrageous. Oh, as if oh, I would do that. Yes, you did. A person of my standing, I would never do that. Anyway, yeah, a person of what? My You're, standing? Uh, you didn't have to stand, you bent over. <laughs> That was a cool standing. So, therefore, that's it. Then. So, it looks like until people have started watching the, the Well, what time's all that finished, then? A couple of hours. Oh, you're joking. I'm what, not... is it on late again? Yeah, it's on from 9 to 11 o'clock. They expect people to got to get up for work in the morning. Yeah, but they're, they're going to listen to us for the last hour, aren't they? I mean, that's what's going to happen. 
So what, we're just going to have music then? Well, I mean, what else can we do? What else can we do? I'm sure there's people out there itching to talk to well, you. No one's sending messages, no yeah, one's sending text no, messages. No, oh, well, I've uh, got no no emails. Trevor will be working, Trevor. Oh, hang on to like Mandy Richardson. Oh, um, and there we are. Who's Mandy Richardson? Well, Dan liked to oh. enlighten me as to why he has sore knees and a face ache. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, I just know, I know who Mandy Richardson is yes, now. Yes, you do. You remember Mandy from last week? She came in for her cake this week and you'd eaten it. Oh, that's right, yeah. That one was Lauren, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so yeah, because she had an iPhone as well. Yes. Did you give her a cake? Well, you'd eaten it. No, I didn't. Yes, you no, did. We I had pictorial no, evidence. No, 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 rubbish. You've got a picture of me in my one. Yeah. I said, make sure you save that for her. No, so you made out that I ate it, didn't you? It wasn't you that ate it. It was you that ate it. Yeah, no, well... No, no, no. Don't blame me. No, don't it. start all that nonsense. <laughs> You're going to get me into trouble. <laughs> that was Mandy's cake. I said to you, make sure she gets it. It's very naughty. I did put it to one side and I said, Dan, look after that. Yeah, make sure that Mandy gets that Dan, cake. you know full well she wanted you to give her one. And the cake. <laughs> Easy. Dump, <laughs> dump yourself. <laughs> Yes, I think you should. Yeah, no, it's too late now. Yeah, yeah. Right, so there, poor Mandy. Uh, she sent that from her iPad, by the way. So we've got one email come through. What, are you clicking to get my attention? No, I'm not oh. clicking the pen. What are you clicking the pen for? Well, because I was going to write something down. Do you like our new leaflets, by the way? Look, did you see our new leaflets no. that we've got? There we are. So we look at this. Very oh, nice. What does it say? Uh, tune to your new local community radio station now on 106.9 FM. 106.9 FM, 100% local radio for City Ball. You noticed I did that in the jingles in the office hour? Yes, right? yes, you did. Yeah, we Check were very out. impressed. Yeah. yeah, I thought you might be. Twitter at... So that's what it is. Twitter at Caesar the Geezer. That's what I am. And Twitter at SFM yes. Radio. Yes, yeah, no, that's right. That's Great. right. Yeah, it will be. Good, so what are you putting these out then? Uh, but they're out. They're out there. Good. They're out there Sponsored now. Sponsored by your local princess. Yes. Uh, which is Gemwoods. That's right. Got to give them a mention. Oh, of course. Good old Gemwoods. We yeah. love them. Over yeah. there on New Road, Sheerness. Good stuff. Is that what they are? Sheerness? Yeah, Sheerness. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, I'm going to bring some competitions back. Now, I'm just organising some big prizes. <laughs> no, some big... I'm talking about holidays for two oh, weeks. Oh, shut up. I'm talking about holidays for two weeks. How are you going to get that, then? Because I'm doing something sponsor with, sponsorship with a company who I'm advertising. Oh, right. Okay. So I'm going to get you a couple of holidays to give away, but well, only, nice. on my, only on my show. All oh, right, OK. And then I'm going to get some hampers. Yeah. From Tesco's, Sainsbury's, things like that. What about your favourite? Morrison. Oh, there we are. Sorry, I was waiting for that. Sorry, that's something better from Morrison's. Yeah, yeah. The others, I mean, every little helps, but Morrison's are going to go out one step further. I'll tell you what, these headphones are sticking to me tonight. It's so hot in here. I've mentioned that already. Yeah, it is, though. It is, And it? it seems to be getting hotter. Why do you think I'm sitting in the top of this? I know, well, I did wonder. Your trousers are coming off next. I thought, well, oh. it's not, it's not... Oh, hello. Hang on a minute. Oh, OK. Someone's calling me on here. Hang on a second, I'm live on the air. Hello? Hello, sir. Listen, you, you, you've come through. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let me plug you in a second. Hang on. Hang on, let me just... Hang on. Put it like that, and then it's all the way across there. Hello? No? Is it you there? If you plug the other one in, Pete. Yeah, no, you've run the phone, wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that number I gave you earlier? Yeah, I've, I've run that, uh, Pete, and he, he said we're too busy at the moment. Hey, oh, hang on a minute, what's that? We're, we're too busy? We're, we're busy at the moment. I'll you can't hear us. Can you, hang on a minute, let's, let's just have a look. They're going to go and sort it out now. Can you sort that? Ring it again, do me a favour, ring it again. Well, okay. Go on, do it now, let me have a look. The number's too busy. We're saying the phone line's too busy. What's going on there, then? No wonder I'm not getting any bloody calls for <laughs> That I'll explain it. Well, got Apparently, it's, ring, it's ringing up. It says the number's too busy. Click that there. Well, see, you're so popular. You see, oh. the phone lines have gone down because you're so That's popular. Right. That's what it is, sees. Yeah, you missed a call there, look. Oh, is that, is that coming in now? No, that came in at 27 past nine. Oh, right, OK. Oh, <laughs> Uh, our past eight, that was, yeah. Well, I want to be there, all right, you muppet. Yeah, you was doing your, uh... Yeah, that's right, Elvis. Elvis yeah, yeah, he was here doing Elvis. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you're live on there, who's that? It's, uh, my, my name's Alfred. <laughs> Hello, Alfred! Is that Caesar the Geezer? Speaking, Alfred. Yeah, li li what I'd like to do is, uh, I, I, do you give legal advice at all? I do give legal advice, mate, yes, of course, I'm qualified. 
Well, well, what it is, I'm, I'm getting on a bit now, uh, uh, Caesar. Yeah. And uh, my, my name's Alfred, and I, I work for this bloke who is, um, and I, I look after his car and I, I clean his clothes and everything. Yes. And I, I, I want to take some legal advice because um, I've got lodgings there, but it's in a cave. Oh, that sounds a bit dodgy. You live in a cave. Yeah. Yeah, it's in a cave. There's no light in there, and, and when I wash, I have to wash in the... There's no toiletries or anything. I have to wash in a little lake. So, oh, what, oh, that's yeah, terrible. Yeah, and, and he's a funny bloke, because he, he, he dresses like a bat. <laughs> oh, he dresses, yeah, he dresses like yeah, a bat? Yeah, yeah, uh, oh. yeah, he dresses like a bat, and he's got a big black car, uh, and, and what happens, whenever I clean it and get it shiny, all the bats fly over it during the night, and, and they basically sh- uh, just do droppings on it. Oh. And, 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 and I have to clean it the next day. So what I'd like to know is, um, under the, um, the um, my legal advice I want to know, Caesar, yes. is, is under the health and safety, yes. um, am I allowed to work in that? Well, well no, actually, no, you're not. No, it sounds a bit iffy. Hello? Alfred? It's, it's, He's it, gone. It's gone. Oh, dear, honestly. That's the problem. Do you know who that is? Well, yeah. Alfred? Yeah. Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Batman? Yeah, Batman's butler. That's who it is? Yeah. Oh, blimey. All things are not very well, well in that camp. Obviously, obviously, the old mobile phone doesn't work particularly well in the cave, does it, really? Obviously not. Hmm. Just the way he just cut off like that without any warning. Yeah, I know. I would have thought at least he would have said, oh, the bat phone's going or something. Yeah. Well, but, perhaps, perhaps, when yeah. a call comes into the bat phone, it cuts cuts them off straight away. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Could be that. Yeah, no, I reckon that's what it is. Well, health and safety Oh, it's a nice bit of breeze now. I can feel a nice breeze yeah, now. Yeah, talking is quite nice. That is nice. That's a nice breeze. Put your shorts down again. Every time you talk, you'll be like, you're the nice breeze, actually. Yeah, that's terrible from that's, this angle. That really is. Hang on a minute, hang on the phone. Do you play bingo? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Are they bingo hang on, wings? Hello? Hello, it's Alfred. I'm sorry about that. Then what happens? He, he, well, well the, my, his name's Bruce, Mark yeah. Bruce. Yeah, what, I feel what, it might be him. Yes, yeah, so what, what he done, he called me on the phone and, and, and he, he clipped me around the ear roll. Now, I don't know whether that's oh, going to be human rights. That's though. not good. That's assault. That's not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, well what, what I'd like to know is, yeah. can you give me some legal advice, Caesar? I can, can yes. Give, Let me give you some right. legal advice right now. Yeah, OK, then. OK, this is what you need to do. Right. OK, hello? He's came off again. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously doesn't want want you to give him advice. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to have to call him off here in a minute. Hang on a second. <laughs> that you wouldn't tell everyone that I what? was sitting here in my kegs. Well, why not? You just told him now. You just told him, don't tell him. So, someone said, Dave, nice to know that you're there, mate. Where's Big Steve? I haven't heard from Big Steve tonight. Junior Iglesias. Do you know what? I'm just organising it, right? So, here, look, on your screen, yeah. you can see the text messages coming in, the emails and the phone. There we are, that's what you want. See, you've sorted it all out. Yeah, there you go. Then that way you don't miss nothing. Then you don't miss no... Our new no IT else. manager, yeah? Well, that's what I do for a living, isn't it? There you go, that's much better. See what? that? Hold on, can I just ask you a quick question? Yes, right, of course you can. What don't you do for a living? Um... I can't mention that on here. I'd, <laughs> I'd get shots. I'd get it completely you do, you do everything, though, do you? Well, I'm pretty clued up when it comes to a few things. That, you're right about that. That's fine, isn't it? That, yeah, that's perfect. That is, Nothing yeah, wrong yeah, with no, that. No, no, no. Quite like it now. What you actually. should really do is stop it from spinning round. So if you stop it about there... Yeah, but, so but, you get it, yeah. and I don't. No, yeah, that's about. nice. <laughs> that's really nice. But I'm looking at it. It's going over there. <laughs> It's not. It's no one near me. It, oh. Can you just twist it around? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've got to turn it around and say, no, 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 you, you I liked it. it oscillating. Listen, oscillating, but yeah, make... Yeah, it needs to oscillate. Can, can 
can I just point something out? Yeah, go on. Obviously, one of us has got the brains in this business. Yeah, which one's that? There's no point in oscillating over there, is it? <laughs> you might as well oscillate towards you. That's it. You've got the idea. Then it'll come round to you. Yes, there you nice. go. And then it goes round to you. Then it comes round no, to me. That's a good idea, right? See? I'm quite liking that. Yeah, I thought you might do it. And it's not on, oh, it's not on full whack either. Oh, isn't it? No. Oh, there, then. That's better. <laughs> can we... Can we... Because that is... <laughs> Blow me next door! No, that is perfect. Can we uh, just quickly thank uh, Jamie and the guys at ELS in Sittingbourne for, for giving this, for, for you, for your show, the guys at ELS actually gave that to us. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you, guys. Yes. I really appreciate that. That's, oh, so can I take it home with me then? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's for you when you're here in sunny Sittingbourne. What about when I'm at home? Well, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. What do you do when you're at home? I noticed, though, I, can I just say, dear listener, yeah. I went round to Caesar's house yes. on Friday night. He said, come round yeah. for some dinner. Yeah. I'll cook you something nice. And wasn't it nice? Well. What? Well, I don't know. I don't know how this... I mean, I remember, you know, you being a very good cook. I remember you went away to that, that special chef place up in uh, yeah. Suffolk somewhere, yes. wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. And you learned all, all those uh, chef skills and everything. Yeah. And I was expecting a bit more. Just a minute. Can I just point out? Well, toad in the hole's all right, but it's not that exotic. I mean, it wasn't I'm, that. It's the chicken lip sandwich. Well... I mean, the chicken lip sandwich, you realise it, it cost a thousand chickens... Yeah, and it, wasn't, it wasn't nice, though. It wasn't nice. It was very chewy and not, not really well, that, nice that's at all. It's the lips. It's yeah. a delicatessen. Yeah, well, a delicacy, you mean. No. <laughs> that's what a delicacy. Yeah, delicacy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and chicken gizzards. That yeah. wasn't very nice. Did you I, know, no, I didn't like the gizzards. What about chicken no. liver? Well, no, I don't, I'm not a big fan. Well, put it this way look at it on the bright side. For oh. the next year, we'll be eating chicken. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I thought you were going to do me a nice cliftico or something like that, you oh, know, stuff buying leaves, you know, a nice meze or whatever, but no, nothing like that. Do you honestly think I'm going to eat that Greek crap? Well, why would you eat that Greek crap? I love that Greek crap. This, it's my food, I, isn't it? I've got a quick story to tell you. God. OK. Yeah. Yeah, me and a few mates met up a couple yeah. of months back. I haven't seen him for a couple of years. I said, let's meet up and let's go to the Tate Modern. In oh, London. Oh, right, yeah. On the South Bank, you know, because we're pretty highbrow. Of course. You know, yeah. but I listen to Radio 4 when I'm not listening to SFM. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. Let's yeah. just, yeah. don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh, Caesar. I wonder who that is. But, was but no, anyway, so no, we, 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 we thought we'd meet up at London Bridge, yeah. yeah, and take a little walk along the river there, as uh -huh. you do, you know, pass Ofcom. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Ofcom. Yeah, give me a little wave as we you go past. Ofcom. We do. Yeah. And I walk past there, yeah. And we get to the Tate Modern, and we just nearly got there. It was like you could touch it almost. And there's this Greek restaurant pumping out this lovely smell of Greek yeah, food. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, we, ne we never got there. Why? The, no, we went to the Greek restaurant. Oh, we you did? Yeah, we never got to the... Uh, you didn't make a bad mistake. I tell you what, that restaurant is fantastic. We were in there for about seven hours, and they didn't once, like, try and move us on or anything. No, oh, we, like that. we kept ordering the food and everything. It was lovely. But the food was expensive, wasn't it? It was, but they said they'd put it on your tab, so yeah. that's what they did. <laughs> I mean, you will sort it out, <laughs> won't you? Yeah, of course you, I will. You know, don't let me down, <laughs> no, Ted. You know I get that. upset. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's another 300 quid I've got to find. Right, OK, let's give out some of these numbers, please. Come on. OK, give us a call, 01795 20 22 70 70 got to say the 01795 bit because we got listeners all around the UK and all around the world okay so you will need that code 01795 22 70 70 on the text 078 600 214 078 600 214 14 good thing about the text is if you got your bundle on your phone you know, with your inclusive text, uh -huh. won't cost you anything, OK? okay yeah. so you've got to pay for your text. It's just a standard text charge. There's nothing added to it. You know, some radio stations yeah. uh, want to charge you, like, 25p on, right. on top of your normal text. You That's know, right, yeah. we don't do that here because we're your local community radio station, you see, and we wouldn't want to do that. Charlie again. Thank you very much. Oh, I like this one. Yes, so right. Flow Rider, yeah? Yeah, whistle. Busiest man in pop, isn't he? Absolutely. Yeah. Classic. Oh, you, I can let you go. I my world 
just give me that music pumping away. Well, why not? <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Just go back to the beginning. Why don't you do a rock and roll show here? What's she's called? Where she's coming? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. What? <laughs> what is that? No, uh, just get on. You're you're in control here. Yeah. Just get on with that. What Listen, you... look, I've sorted out what you've asked me. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes. Oh, I did that. So it's all right if I just carry on playing some rock and roll music. Well, it was, but you're the one who interrupted it. What? Why? Yeah, I'm just mention, do you, why don't you do a rock and roll show here? Well, only you could do that. Who else could fill that mantle? Really? Yeah. So that means another show. Well, it does, but you have to bring... Uh, there's not a lot of rock and roll, really. Mate, I told you I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to bring all my music in for you. Oh, hello, little thing to say and do. Oh. From Trevor the Kebab Man, love the show uh, to do every week. Keep it with tonight's Batman theme. You can play Seal Kiss uh, from Rose and uh, keep up the good work, guys. It's from Rose. Kiss from a Rose. Yeah, yeah, kiss, yeah. Kiss yeah. From a Rose, That's a good, yeah. good tune, actually. That is actually, yeah. Yeah, for Trevor, yeah, we can do that for you, mate. No problems. Uh, but they keep moaning. Every week I come in, Trev, they keep moaning. Where's their free kebabs? That's all they keep going on about. I keep saying to them, leave it. You know, I keep saying that, but listen, Trevor is only the delivery man. He can't get you free kebabs. And he keeps saying, no, they've got to get us free kebabs. They're laughing at something that's on Facebook. I don't know what it is, but they're laughing at us. I haven't seen it. There's a picture of you. <laughs> it's a picture of me on Facebook. Yes, but I think you should take one in here, because well, that's not a, very clear. That you've I got a, a bit of... Well, I was trying, trying, to, honest, honest, I was trying to say his modesty. Cause... Well, yes, you were. I mean, he, d- he does look a bit kind of muffled. Yeah, listen to this. You can. Wait, right, listen to this from Andy Lawrence. Oh, on. Okay, oh, mate, he says, a rock and roll show would be amazing. An amazing idea. You can't beat that music. <laughs> Tell your psychic that he's wrong in saying there is not a lot of rock and roll. I never said that. Some... No, I said there's not a lot of rock and roll here. Yeah, it's on, on, in the on record your, box. Is what I was yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, some fantastic and truly groundbreaking stuff was recorded back in the 50s. It was, and I'm a big. I used to be a telly boy. Here he comes. Look, if he's taking photographs of me to put on Facebook. As if. Yeah, as if he'd do something like as that. As if that is that is an Iranian businessman. Can I just tell you, Paul Chandler's online. <laughs> is he really? Yes, he is. How is he? I don't know. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him. Say Caesar says hello. We're live on there. Tell him to tune in. Find out what he is he's doing. Yeah. And tell, tell him to give him my Facebook address as well. Um, what's about now? So, yeah, should, should that do <laughs> I love the way he was like, I, I think, uh, I think um, <laughs> that that picture that's on there, I mean, have you seen it? No. Oh, you, you can't run round here. Can you be careful? No, you no, trip no, over no, that. No. You don't want to. No. I, I don't think I can show you either. Why can't you? Because I can't. Why can't I, you? I can't. No, can't stop, stop doing that. Oh, stop doing that. Why can't that. you twist it around so I can, I can see it? Can Move you your headphones out of the way. There we are. Oh, that's outrageous. No, it's not. That it's, is absolutely it's tasteful. It's tasteful. Tasteless. Well, Look, what's this? you said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't show photographs of no, me like no. that. <laughs> you can't show naked photos of me like that. That's outrageous. Um, right, OK, so back to uh, what I was doing best. Cut them buggers off and play some good music. You <laughs> know who I am. Yeah, dip yeah. the music a bit, if you don't mind. You yeah. are the only presenter who's allowed to eat in the studio. Really? Mm. Well, I'm honoured. I'm honoured. Mm. What are you doing then? Well, I'm with you. <laughs> by default, riding along in my automobile. <laughs> my baby beside me at the wheel. You must 
must be tight as usual, though. Don't change much, because he hasn't phoned the show. I would have thought he would have rang in. He must have free calls by now, surely. Well, yeah, I would have thought so. IT expert and all that. He probably knows how to dodge it. And get it. He was the first one to actually get me into BBSs. I'll never forget. Bogey was my first way of my, my, my inspiration. Had to get onto illegal websites and download music and stuff like that. I'm begging to make that happen. <laughs> I've written in my autobiography. I've written an autobiography, by the way. Who has? I have. You've written one? Yeah. I've have got, you I've really? Got a, I've got a ghostwriter writing one out. You're mentioning it. No. Quite a few times. Yeah? Yeah. We mentioned it quite a few times. Um, I've held no secrets. Oh. There'll be a lot of people in the industry who are going to be very upset with me when the secrets will come out. Oh, dear. Oh, the doctor should have done it out, boy. I'll tell you big time. I will shock some people's illusions of famous celebrities. So your, your dossier, dossier is, is rather rather large. Yes, you can say that. And you know I'll do like a large dossier. Right. I know yes. you know. So, um... And I've got, listen, you can fall out with people, by the way, Dan, Andy Lawrence. Yes, I'm talking about you. So, you were a teddy boy. I heard that you used to be a pink lady back of the back of the day. Oh. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I used to be a teddy boy, mate, me. That's why. And you know what? I think I will do it. I will do a rock and roll show. Yeah, I think that would be good. We'd like that. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. So, um, we'll sort something out. Mm. But, I mean, I love rock and roll music. You can't beat it. I mean, I, know, I do a lot of upfront stuff, but Elvis and Buddy Holly and Chuck oh, Berry. I love that Elvis out. It was great to hear it back, Caesar. It really yeah, it was. It was, yeah. I mean, I've not seen a lot of mega, mega responses, but once it picks back up and people get to know it's back on air. When I die, will be Caesar, safe. just been looking on the Facebook. You've got a message here from Chris Manic Monday. Oh, yeah, come on, mate, Chris. Yeah, yeah. and he's saying, fit, exclamation mark. <laughs> I think he's, he's missed the word I with A. I think he's, 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 missed, he's misspelled it. Yeah. He's probably trying to say fat. Yes, yes. Instead of fit. Well, it, you know, it's very near on the on the keyboard, isn't it? The yeah, A and the I. Very yeah. near, very near. So, good old Chris, trust him. Can we just say happy birthday to Peter Young? Do you remember Peter Young, the DJ? Yeah. Yeah, it's his birthday today. Is it really? Yeah. How old is he today? I don't know how old he is. I don't like to ask. P. Young. The, yeah, P. Y. The, the Radio Pie. No, E. Y. He did Radio 1 back in the day. He was at Capital, wasn't he? So he must be 70... Yeah. He must be about 73, 74 now, then. P.Y. the Pork Pie, they used yeah, to call yeah, him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. about 73 years old. 61. <laughs> no! 61! No, he's not. 61. He can't be. It says 61. He can't be. Oh, I've just checked it for you. It says 61. It, that's lying. It can't be. Do you know how I know? Go on. Because when I was with David Lee Travis... Uh. Now, how old is David Lee Travis? Ah, uh, well, that's a good question. I don't know. He's, he's not friends with me, but P.Y. is. Is he? Yeah. David Lee Travis is not friends with you? No. Yes, he is. He's a friend no. of mine. DLT, no, no. Don't, uh, DLT Our palms did cool. cross at 210 FM, but very briefly. Really? He was on Classic Gold. Yeah, I know he was. No, we were very, very good friends with me and DLT. Very good friends. In fact, I was there the day that uh, Nile Edmonds got it when he's got you. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was yeah, that funny. Was, that was good. Absolutely was hilarious. Good. Um, actually, I was doing that. I was looking at uh, YouTube. Do you know the things you can find on YouTube? I was looking for Jeremy Beadle. Oh, yeah. Beadle's About. Yeah. And looking at some of the old classic TV shows, like the White, you know, the Beadle's About. And Do you know like what that. I found on there? What? Saturday Banana. Do you remember that? Saturday no. Banana with Bill Oddie. Do you yeah. remember that? Yes, I do. Yeah, that was on there. I mean, I've just got a text come through. I don't know who it's from. Oh, it's from Bogey, you tart. Ah. <laughs> Someone's right. listening. So he can afford the text, then, See, but he can, was, can't, was, oh, hang on a minute. can't oh, afford the phone. Are you missing that. calls again? I missed a call. He's can terrible. That? Can you tell us when the phone rings? Yeah. So we know. Can you do some bloody work in there, please? Honestly. I don't know what they're doing. They're looking at something, and, and uh, probably well, you know the Olympics. Like. Are they? You've got their mic off, they're saying. They're moaning again. Oh, sorry. Yes. That's why it's so quiet. Are you yeah. watching the Olympics no, in that's, there? that's why we switched him off. He's turned us off, so we thought we'd turn well, him off. I never off. turned you off on purpose. Oh, see, yeah. they've copped the ump. That's what it is, Caesar. Yeah. Look, look at them. Look, they're both really upset. And I gave him a Danish. Do you know why your Danish was nice? Yeah, it, it was really very nice. was very nice. Thank what, you for were that. Were they from Tesco's? Almost. Costco's. Oh, really? Costco's. Costco's. Remember right. them? Yeah. Yes. Up Tottenham way today, that 
was Costco's in Tottenham. What are you doing in Tottenham? Visiting a friend. Have you got any? All right, where's the off button again, Jason? <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, you've upset them now. You had the Paddington Bear stare. Look for both of them. Both oh, of them. Oh, swing my pistol, slap my thigh. Here comes season my number one guy. Yes. Yeah, I know that. Yes. So, um, no, they were good, though. <clears throat> Those tarts were good, actually. Yeah. I'm talking about something completely different again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he was in London. Yeah, shocking. <laughs> uh, you are shocking. You do. You, you, you take advantage of my good nature, don't you, Mr. Caesar? What good nature? <sighs> you're such a slave driver. Oh, whatever. I don't believe a word you're saying. Whatever. Listen, I've got to ask you this. I think I've missed, I've missed Johnny again, you know. <laughs> you are terrible. I, I, you know what? I don't see it flashing. No, I'm just looking at you well, across the well, screen. Yeah, there we are. So, um, anyway, let me just bring up. Uh, just quickly make this phone call. Oh, is that like 20 quid you owe me? What for? Oh, thanks. Thanks. No, I'll, I'll, I'll owe you one pound. You know, it could be nineteen pound change, please. Well, no, hold on. I haven't got that much much change on me. That's typical. Are you ringing him? Yeah. Hello. 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 Did you call me? Yes. Sorry, I missed your I missed your call. Oh right, are we on air or not? No. no, you're not on there now. But can you call me back? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> I keep missing this call. Right. You're terrible. Look, you know how to press that and do that. Yeah, I mean, I can see it. Oh, it's just... I don't want to get that close. Oh, you're all slippery. Pardon? Oh, you are. You're all slippery. What are you trying to say? Well, I just brushed past your the side of you there, and you're all, like, slippery. You're really hot, aren't you? Of course I'm hot. Yeah. I'm not sweaty. I'm not tacky. I'm sticky. I don't stick. I don't sweat. Here we go. Right, now then. Here we are. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Okay, go to Clark. Yeah, pardon? <laughs> hello, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm all right, mate. How are you? Here he is. Here he is. Uh, I thought you were being tight. Okay, not... okay. Go on. So I couldn't call you. It wasn't like, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to call you, but I was, uh, I was Skyping some hot girls and like, Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh, oh. So I have to, to reboot it. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I've got another call coming in as well now. Well, you can take two. Really? Can I? Yeah, just oh, press line right line two. Well, hang on, bogey. Don't go away, yeah? That's right, it. Right. Right. Yeah, two. just press it. Oh, you've come off. I've come off. Well, you see, hey, you still there, bogey? Bogey! Oh, look, see, conferencing, hello. Yeah, I was in a conference call. He was no. trying to, Bogey, trying. Yeah. So, how you, how, you, how you be, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, you know, still surviving, paying the bills. Yeah, of course you are, that's what I thought. I, was just, I told him about your car earlier, and your motorbikes. Yeah, thanks for that. That's <laughs> all right. What car was it? You know that when I say, like, in confidence, that means, like, <laughs> yeah, it, it, you, well, you should <laughs> know, you should know by now, Bogey, you never know. tell him anything in confidence, please. please. I haven't gone knocking on your neighbour's doors yet, have I? Uh, no, but now I can't kill them, can I? Because you've told everybody, <laughs> yeah, eh? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shocking. Think of the trouble that I've saved yeah, you. Well, you know, I mean, when they see the six guys with rope in their van, they mean, they're, not, they're, they're going to know it's me now, aren't they? So, you know. Yeah, that's but, true. That's true. So what else? What else is happening? Do you keep in touch with anybody um, else? No, I haven't really. I've, I've been out of the industry for uh, a long time, been concentrating on all the IT stuff, so... Well, we need to get you back into it, Bogey. That's what we need to do, mate. Yeah. You've got to get back into the radio. You need to get yourself another motorbike. Uh, yeah, I'm actually thinking about that because this weather has been driving me crazy. My last bike got stolen. Did you tell them that as well? Yeah, I yeah, told he, that, yeah, yeah he's yeah. told us that, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a crushed car and a stolen bike. I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you what, Bogey, there's nothing he's left out. He's told us it all. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> no, listen, don't go away. my tweet, by the way. Hang on. The no, stay there. Don't go away. Hang on a minute. Don't go away. Hang on, let's go to line two. And I'm line two. Hang on. Well, are you there? <laughs> Bogey, hang on, hang on, who's there? Oh. Hello, are you there? Hello. Hello? Who's that? Is that Caesar? This is Caesar, yeah, who's this? It's Simon Cow. Simon Cow, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm bored. I'm watching the closing ceremony. Yes. Of the Olympic Games. I'm upset. I haven't been invited there. Yes. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I, I, could have, I could have done a speech. I could have gave them some advice. Yeah, of course. Um, all, all, all we're seeing at the moment is drunken athletes running around the um, arena. Yeah. Um, 
I'm not happy. I think they're delusional. Yes. I think most of the people in the stadium are delusional. Yes. And I think they made the government has made a major blunder yes. in not inviting me there. Well, I personally think they should have they should have got you to organise a closing down ceremony. That would have been fantastic, Simon. I should have been the main um, finishing act. Yes. I would have had, had everyone dressed in black trousers with the waistbands up to their nipples. Yes. Um, black Tradition. colour neck jumpers. Traditional quite um, right. Have you seen any of the Olympics, Caesar? Have I seen what, sorry? Any of the any Olympics. Of this? No, I haven't seen any of the Olympics at all. Do you know, I've not followed it at all. I went to Greenwich yesterday and I saw horses that were dancing. Horses that were dancing? Yes, I've never seen a horse dance in all my life. Right. Um, we had a dog. We had a dog that won Britain's Got Talent. Yes, last I know. Year. Yes, yeah, so Bugsy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we can get the horses there, but I'm a bit worried about if they have a crap. Yes, yes, a lot of clearing up. Could, could it. cause problems yes. unless we get the little man with the shovel going along behind. Totally agree. Actually, funny enough, I've got a mate of mine called Bogey. He's looking for a job. Yeah. I could introduce oh, well, maybe him. Maybe we could pick him up. Yeah, 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 that's exactly what I'll ask him in a minute, actually, because he's on the other line. Yes, he will be working on piecework. You know what that is? <laughs> no. <laughs> he, he only gets paid for what he picks up. <laughs> it's okay. He that's doesn't get paid an hourly rate. No. You know. Just for what he picks up. Yes. So I thought I'd give you a call. Glad you're back on the air. Thank you, Simon. I know you're not. I, I know you're a lot delusional. Yes. I'm a bit fed up. I may get you as one of the um, judges. I'd love, to be, I'd, love, I'd love to be a judge on X Factor. Are you going to replace Gary Barlow then? Uh, well, I'm going to replace... I, I may replace Gary Barlow. I'd like to get a judging panel of Caesar the Geezer, yes. Jim Davidson... Yes. Jim Davidson, and um, I was going to say Tommy Cooper, but I'm afraid he's... Um, well, it'd be a hard job, mate. You have to dig him up. Yeah. Yes. But I'm, I, I'm over here in Stratford anyway with... Um, I'm here with... Um, David Beckham, he's been here with his children all day. All right. So, would you, like, would you like to have a word with David? Well, yeah, well, why not? Quickly stick him on. Hang on. David. David Beckham. David Beckham. Yeah, my mate. Hello. David, Hello. how are you, mate? Oh, I'm very well, Caesar. How are you? Yeah, good. I'll tell you what, you're getting about a bit, aren't you? Well, you know, I mean, I was really upset when I got left out of the Olympic game. Yeah, well, you know, we was there uh, at the, be uh, the beginning, but not for the end. What's that? What's that all uh, about, David? Yeah. Well, you know, I don't like to say too much, but I think it was personal. Is it really um, it was? I think it was personal, yeah. And yeah. the thing about it, the thing about it is the fact that, um, Dad, can I have an ice cream? No, <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. Yeah. Chocolate or strawberry? Um, no, the, thing, the, 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 the thing about it was, um, I was supposed to be performing, you know, uh, in the Olympics. Yeah. Yes, I suppose been performing in the. Um, um, hang on, Simon's back on. Let's put David. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, um, yeah. So I suppose been performing in the Olympic Games, but it ends up me watching Victoria. She's supposed to be watching me, but I'm watching her. Tonight. Yeah, well that's she's it. She's the, the Spice Girls. Yeah, I know. What time are they, yeah. what time are they on? on tonight? So I'm, I'm the, she's on later on I think it's the finishing act so we're pleased about it so I'd, I'd like to see that I'm oh, Brooklyn I've told you don't stop asking I'm on the radio talking don't get yourself some little donuts or something little one <laughs> hello yeah yeah go on yeah, that, hello Steve that's, that's great I'll tell you what I, I'm shocked I thought when you went yeah. down with that boat when you went to open the ceremony I thought fantastic there is a true English uh, man it, I, I tell you what, it was, you know, I've got to say, I mean, Sebastian Cohen, that mad bloke with a blonde hair, what is it, the Mayor of London? Yes. That, <laughs> that, yeah, that... Boris. Yeah, Boris. That, Boris. That, Boris. That, yeah, that mad bloke who, yeah. uh, it, it was, he was hanging from a wire, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was, actually, I've got a man here I was talking to earlier. Have you heard of Stuart Hall, Caesar? Stuart Hall? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hall, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, from uh, yeah. It's a Knockout. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I've got him here, and uh, he was talking about for us. So, do you want to put him on? Well, is he going there as well? Yeah, I'll put him on. Hang on. Yeah, I'll put, put, put him on. Yes, he's got a packed house there, hasn't he? Yeah, well, yeah. there was some, well, there's a lot of people around. Oh, yeah. Hello, yeah. Tisa. Hello. Hello, Tisa. How good are evening you? to the Good evening to the Greek mythical ball <laughs> DJ of the universe. <laughs> How I'm are you? I'm in the... I'm fine. I'm here in the Olympic Park 
here in the arena of yeah. battle. Yes. So gladiators are honed to perfection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next. Yeah. I'm next to Boris. Yes. I'm Not gonna... far from Boris. Yeah. Boris, the man who has charisma in the front of <laughs> Boris. Yes. High in the sky, like a large orangutan. Yes. Performing at some Eastern European circus. Oh, no. Suspended by wires, unable to free himself. Comparisons of King Kong scaling the Empire State Building. <laughs> Flash bulbs in his face. Yes. And pictures of him to all corners of the earth. <laughs> to the White House, Obama. To the Kremlin, Putin. And pondering the same thought. This bouncing orangutan could one day Thank be you. the British <laughs> Prime Minister. God bless us all. God bless. Hang you. on, I will put I will put Beckham back on. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Get off. Hello. Yeah, Dave, I've got to go. I've got a buggy while you're okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call later on. Yeah, but any time. I look, look forward to it. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. bye, -bye. Oh, it's good bye. to talk oh, to David. Yeah, good Bogey. to talk to Poor old Bogey's phone bill. Yeah, like, yeah sorry, mate. I've got a fireman. I've got a fireman yelling on the phone, man. Is he offering me a job? Because, like, do yeah. I have to touch him inappropriately? Yes, yes. I'm up for that. <laughs> I hope he pays well. You're up for it, are Okay, listen, I'll, I'll, pull, I'll pass your phone number to him. No problems. But remember, you only get paid for what you pick up. Yeah, well, well, I'm a bit worried about that, man. Yeah, be careful, be careful. Be careful. Be don't, need, careful. Don't, need, don't need a hospital treatment for that afterwards. Yeah, it probably will, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things am I going to be picking up from him? Exactly. Um, he'll tell you more about it, but it's something to do with horses. Yeah, it's a job opportunity, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Not to be missed. Yeah, on stage, right, exactly, Britain, yeah. Britain's got talent. What <laughs> another con that is. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it in a second. Hey, Bogey, it's been great talking to you. Call me any time. You know that, don't you? No, I do. Well, right, I don't want to. Bogey's got to come down. Yeah, he's not. Down to as see him. Yes, yeah, he needs to sort that out. He can come to my house, and then I can bring him in the car, and then mm. take him back in the car, and then from my house, he can go on his bike back. Yeah. Get on his bike. Yeah. Well, he's got a bike now, he's got Nick. Yeah, no, but he used to buy another bike. Caesar, <laughs> Caesar's offering to buy you a bike, Bogey. Don't pass this opportunity cool. over. Okay. Don't pass it over, mate. Right. Okay, <laughs> I, I was going to give it to my four-year-old granddaughter, but she's outgrown it now, but it's sitting there, you're welcome for it. No, it's not a tricycle, you <laughs> no, want. It's a bike, isn't it? No. It's a bike. It's a bike, it's got three wheels. Honestly. At least it won't nick it, mate. You can carry up the stairs and take it in your front room. <laughs> <laughs> I'll speak to you later. All right, cheers, mate. Cheers, cheers, mate. Bye, bye, oh, bye. Poor old right, bogey. You are bogey. terrible, you oh, are. You, know. you are really bad. Now, listen, I'm sorry. I've got to have a moan. No, well... No, I've got to have a moan. What's new? What's new? Did you see Britain's Got Talent? Yes. What a lot of crap. No, I love it. No, no. No, I, I love no, it. Listen, excuse me. I love the show. Yes. The results... What a load of old well, Cosmo. You didn't like the dog winning? No, the dog was okay, but there's no way they beat that Jonathan and Charlotte. Jonathan, Jonathan and Charlotte, Charlotte the big fat guy. Oh, uh, yeah, the they couldn't fit. sing, could they? They couldn't. They were fantastic singers, 16 and 17, singing opera. Oh, yes. No, they were good. Yeah, I know you're talking about that. Yeah, no, yeah. they were good. It they was between good. them and the bloody dog. Mm. And have you seen the dog since? No. No, exactly. No. Exactly. It's won £500,000, and that's it. It's, he's retired. Don't yeah. want to know anymore. But that Jonathan and Charlotte, they should have won that without no, a he, doubt. He signed exclusivity to win a lot, didn't he? He won quite a bit. Yes. Oh, yeah, very good. Very <laughs> good. Very good, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, that was good. So there, I mean, but the, uh, no, to be honest, it just annoys me because I spent my good earned money voting for Jonathan and Charlotte and to be bitten by a poxy dog and a young girl. Nah, sorry. The dog was good, but it wasn't that good. Nowhere near as good as Jonathan and Charlotte. Nowhere near. I don't, I don't well, we should know. have him in on the show then, if you're that worried well, about Jonathan. Funny you should say that, but I've actually got his number, so I'll ring him. OK. I'll, I'll well, ring him and I'll, I'll, I'll ask a bunch of... Can, can I... one problem. What? How are we going to get him in here? Well, we'd have a go. I mean, it's, it'll be, be a bit of a door. squeeze. He won't be able to get through that door. Well, it's a bit of a squeeze. He will not get through that door. Mm -hmm. I have trouble getting through that door. Yeah, that's true. He will not. He has to have a mic extension outside. Out into the street, onto the juggernaut. But he is a big boy. 
He said it's full of steam. I mean, he's, he's happy now because he's appeared on the show. A lot more people have gone up to him and said hello. They've been very friendly. But even so, what a, I'm sorry. I've, I've got to say it. Absolutely out of cuts were not the results. I was very disappointed. Well, there we are. And no. last year, who won it last year? Do you um, remember? That weren't Susan Boyle. No, because she didn't win. It was no. Diversity that won, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Diversity. Who, who won Britain's Got Talent last year? It wasn't Diversity. The dog and the lady. No, that was this year. No, I don't know. No, I don't, can't it remember. It wasn't Diversity. You don't watch it, no? no. Hey, you're interrupting us, sorry. Yeah, yeah sorry, they're watching the Olympics. Nice, eh? They what? Hey! Beach volleyball's on, mate. Come and have a look. Oh, Be- hold on, oh, yeah. Hang on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Beach volleyball, I've heard that for years. Know, that's that's one you don't it. hear on the radio, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's why I played it now. Thought I played a little bit of Elvis Presley, why not? So, go on, tell me, tell me a little bit more about her. What's, what's she been like? What's she been doing? Well, you have to find out. You have to talk. I, I couldn't believe it, actually. You played that little sample earlier, and I thought, oh, that that's her. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Do you remember that other one we had at Capital Gold? I can't remember her name. Hey, with well, dark, yeah, with ring, dark hair. Ring, ring, Do you remember ring. the other one? Hello. 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 Who's that? Oh, is that you, Tracy? I know who that is. Who is it, then? Who is it? Yeah. It's Chris. <laughs> Caesar, if you don't mind. How are you, Tracy, sorry, darling? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I've you? got you confused with my neighbour. No, is that what it is? How you been? I'm good, thank you, Caesar. How are you? I'm all right, eh? All the better for hearing you. What are you up to? What am I up to? Well, it's Sunday night, so I'm laying on my chaise lounge. Oh! Eating strawberries. I say. Eating strawberries? Yeah, eating strawberries by my man, who does have a six-pack. <laughs> oh, that, it's not a party seven then, no? Hang on, mate. No, a, no, not a party pack. She was a bloke with a six-pack? Yeah. Yeah, he's feeding me strawberries. Feeding you strawberries? That's amazing. Yeah. That, that, you haven't changed a bit, then. No, not at all, not at all. <laughs> have, you got, have you got married yet or not? No, I'm not married. I'm single. Well, as single as they come anyway. What, you're still single? You were single, yeah. one back, you were single back in the years when I knew you. Well, I've been around, you know, but I've done the rounds. But I don't want to say, I don't want to say, I'm trying to I want to keep this clean, this show, I don't want to say, what Shut are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. <laughs> I'm not suggesting anything at all. Now, come so on. where have you been, Caesar? Are you still on air now, I take it? Yeah, I'm on air. I've got my own radio station 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And, of course, I oh, come on, to, on Peter's radio station on a Sunday night. Who's Peter, then? Oh, sorry, oh, you Peter's. must introduce me to this Peter guy. P- I keep P- hearing a lot about Pete him. Pete Flynn is the director of the company. Oh, right. Right, OK, the station oh, director. He's one of the big bosses. You right, I'm sorry, you. but you're not his level. No. So, therefore, I could never introduce you to him. I, I can't mix in those kind of circles. No, no, you know, no. I get embarrassed. People, like, people like you, he steps on. <laughs> yes. Or steps oh, over. Oh, dear. Bruce, so, who's he talking about? I don't know who Peter is. Who's actually what? Sorry? I said... To Brutus, I don't know who Peter is. I oh, mean, yeah, he sounds quite nice. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's a nice guy. He is quite dishy. He is <laughs> yeah. quite dishy, even if I say so myself. Well, he's a bit, now, of, he's a bit of a tight git, but apart from that, he's alright. Not bad. He promised to be petrol money for the last three weeks. I still haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, all he, I want to know is, has he got a six pack or a twelve pack? No, he's got a party seven. No, he's got a oh, barrel. Dear. <laughs> he's, he's got a, an eighteen keg barrel. <laughs> oh. So it's tap all night then. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Shocking. So what about you? What are you doing with yourself? Are you working? Oh, yeah, I'm working, yeah. What, what yeah. are you doing? I'm a beautician now. Oh. You're what? Yeah, I'm a beautician. Really? Yeah, so it, it, yeah, Caesar needs celebrity. a lot of work. He needs a lot of work, <laughs> don't you? Now, tell me more about your beautician. Come on, so what do you do exactly? Well, I do eyelashes, I do nails, I do spray tanning, teeth whitening, you name it, I do it. Wax really? It. And now, Caesar, have you ever been whacked? <laughs> Have I ever been waxed, did you say? Have you ever been waxed? Oh, waxed! <laughs> what? I thought you said waxed! I said, I can't talk uh, about my kicky uh, stuff on it! I was mind. gonna say, there's not enough wax in the world to cover Caesar. Because uh, I do a really good speciality. Is that back, right? Sack and crack. Oh, and what? Sack, back, back, and crack. Sack and a crack. Yeah, that's what he needs. 
Yeah. What do you reckon? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I what don't, do you I, reckon? Excuse me, I don't touch drugs. No, no, it's not that. <laughs> what is it? Crack? Uh, no, what it's a you? back sack and crack. Crack? Well, not the crack in between my cheeks. No, right. Yes. Okay. The crack, yes. The crack in between my cheeks. Yes. Yes. What do you do to that? I put wax Rip on it. the hair off. You can kiss my, my foot. You ain't getting anywhere near my bum. I'm telling you now. <laughs> now, what that is painful waxing, isn't it? Well, it can be. It can be. But, you know, once you get used to it, then the pain subsides. Really? Yeah, Have I'm you... more than welcome to pop down one time and give you a, you know, a live on air. Like Li- live on air. You'd love to come live down. Live on air. Uh, live right. on air. Hang on a minute. Live just, on air. Are just... you hearing this? What an offer! Excuse me. <laughs> what an offer! <laughs> let me just write this down. Excuse me, Tracy wants to come down and play with my crack on a Sunday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if not nothing else, it'll be a good crack, won't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It well, yeah. what, do you drive? I do indeed. Oh, brilliant! Oh, there we are then. So next yeah. Sunday, it's a, it's a date for next Sunday. Okay then. Next Sunday night. Yeah, next Sunday night. Now you'll have to. I'm glad you've given me warning because I'm going to need a lot of wax for your crack. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'd start ordering now. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! No, it'd be good to see you anyway. It really, would be really good yeah. to see you. Yeah, be good to see you. It's been time. a long time. And it'll be great to see her twins as well, wouldn't oh, it? I haven't yeah. seen them for years. Have you still got yeah. them? I have. I mean, they've headed south these days. They've been on holiday. But, they've been you know, on holiday. I'm sure they right. can make an appearance. Oh, well, <laughs> there we are. Be great to see them again. I've missed them. Okay, Bruta. Yeah. So I've, they've missed you too, Bruta. Oh, oh, that's so. And that's that like a, nice. a reunion. All the old team all getting together. Can we get bogey? We yeah. Have, do you remember bogey? Yeah. I don't remember Bogey. No, because no. no, cause Tracy was at Capital, not at Talk. Oh, was she? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she, she was Euston was... Tower. You were at Euston Tower, and yeah, then we moved was. to the yeah. gaff above the calf, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, Piccadilly. Yeah. Square, Piccadilly. No, not Piccadilly. It, Leicester, Leicester Square. Square sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's just go. Yeah, we're <laughs> playing Monopoly now, exactly. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, Trace, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, good, oh, good. Oh, my darling, I love you. Oh, I love you oh, too. I, I'll tell you what. Guess what? Yeah. Hang on, what, what? Hang on a minute. I just got to do. Don't go away yet, because I've got to do this. All right. Hang on a minute. I just got to do this quickly. Hang on a minute. O two o eight. I'm not going to mention it on there. That's all right. Don't worry. I'm just going to put that in my phone, so I've got your number. Right. Okay. Right. I've got your I'm number. Say, don't read it out on air. No. I have all sorts of people ringing me. No, no, you wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I'm a professional. <laughs> Well, I'm a professional. Tracy Big Tits. OK, got it. Uh, no problem, it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Absolutely. He hasn't changed. <laughs> no, he hasn't changed at all, has he? Oh, no. boy. Well, it's lovely of you to ring us, Tracy. I mean, well, I... I just thought about you. I was on Facebook and I see your page come up. Yes. And I thought I'd give you a ring to see how you were doing oh. as I saw that Caesar was now on Sunday night. So. I did bump into you in Asda, didn't I? A couple of months I back. I did. Yes. Yeah, yes. I was 69, wasn't it? Yeah. It was actually, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. I, I was getting in me uh, me spaghetti. Oh yeah. 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 Sixty nine got to do with it. Oh sixty nine, <laughs> that's where it is. It's a very big Asda. All that right. particular one. I can't mention where it is. Why not? No. <laughs> Why? No, well it's in South London actually. Okay. Uh, and they, no, they got a football team there. Charlton. Oh, hey, he's good. <laughs> he's hot. <laughs> this I'm man is hot. Are you still are you still in Plumstead, by the way? I'm in Plumstead Heights, thank you very much, Caesar. Plumstead well, Heights, that's okay. the posh bit. The posher end of Plumstead. Yes, that's My right. best friend lives in Plumstead. Oh, right, where about? Uh, Dave Courtney, have you heard of him? He lives right round the corner from me. Yeah, well, he's my best friend. Oh, right, OK. That surprised you, didn't it? Well, no. yes, yeah, so like, I could knock on his door for a cup of tea and a cookie, couldn't I? You could go and knock on his door right now and say to him, Caesar says he loves you, here's a number, ring him and come on the air. Okay then. All right, and he Have you lost that. his number? Um, he's changed. You know what? He's changed his well, number. Yeah, I haven't got it anymore. I did have it actually. I don't know, I think. I'll have a look. The trouble is, I can't. You can't dial out on this bloody stupid. I can't do put him on the mobile. How far do you live away from him, Trace? Uh, probably about ten minutes. Really? Do you know? Yeah. Do you know where he actually lives? Oh, yeah, yeah, everyone, not, everyone knows I where know he lives. I know that he lives in the area, but he's, I'm not. Yeah, he's got the mur- He's got the mural on the side of his house, isn't he? Can't he? miss him. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, you can't right. miss him. OK. Right. Oh, my darling, leave it to me. I'll ring him. OK, then. OK, speak to you later. Speak to you later. 
Speak to you later. Bye, Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, baby. Bye. Bye. Well, that, that's Bye. the last number I've got for him. See you later, does Trace. It, Lots it, of love. Does it finish with three sixes? Uh, yeah, yeah it's it does, old, actually. That's an old number. Is it? That one doesn't work anymore. Vagan Sarni mentioned your Twitter. Here we go. Look at that bloody Twitter again. Yeah, see, you ne- really, seriously, you Daniel need... Daniel Pope you mentions ne- me on Twitter as well. Yeah, see. You um, really Bradley need... Bradley Jacobs on Twitter. Listen. Yeah. You're, listen. What? Oh, stop playing with that. Listen. Yeah, I like playing with this. Yeah, yeah we'll stop it. It'll <laughs> drop off. Yeah, OK. Right. Yeah. Got what? What I was going to say is you really need to catch up on this Twitter, Malarkey. Why? Because you do. Now, look, put a record on, I've and just... I'll... No, put a record on, yeah. and I'll explain it to you. But I've only just right? got used no, to I'll Facebook. go through it with you, all what? right? See this little dingly-dongly bit here? Yeah. Yeah, well, look, if you... Press that, yeah. and then you'll see all those there like that. Yeah. And then you can go in there like that, yeah. okay? And then you can send a message there like that, and then you put the hashtag, yeah, yeah and then it will do that. But look, let me show you the best bit. Got it. Here's, here's the best bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Right. No, not that one. Oh. Press that one there. Oh, that one. Oh, that's yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So we've got that classic crack sees. Some said Dave. He found that quite funny. Uh, I thought he might do. Um, what time is it? It's 17 minutes to 11. Are you still watching that? Are you still watching it on the well, telly? I, I, let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. I did, I did have it here. Let's have a look. Yeah. Are they still watching it in the other room? No. No, they're not now. Good. No. Should no. Think so, no, that's right. What are we paying them for? That's right. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? It's disgraceful. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of things going on. Yeah? Yeah, there's all, like, smoke going up and... Smoke? Yeah. You know, like a foggy effect. Hey, yeah, look. Is it red? Is that live? Yeah. Oh, right, it's okay. like a smoky, foggy effect. Can't you make that screen bigger? A... Yeah, you can. Well, we'll make it bigger then for a second. What are you trying to say? Nothing. There you were. I wasn't. I thought you might, you know. Oh, I have a fag break. Yeah. Yeah, well, I might do in a minute. Um, I'm quite bored there. Should we do the Elvis hour again for the last hour? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, everybody's watching it, that. It was great, you. great to hear the Elvis hour, though. It was. It was good. Fun, yeah, though. it was. Everybody enjoyed not it. Not everyone's watching it. I'll tell you, not everyone. No, no, but I mean, it's, it's, it meant to be the big major event. I know? mean, that woman that he used to be married to. I'm sure she's not watching it. Who? Fat boy Slim. Oh yeah, no, she's not. No, she won't be watching it, will nah, she? No, she'll be too busy doing the uh, the garden for me. Um, so, so she's <laughs> still doing your. Yeah, she is, yeah. I pay her a lot of money, though. Yeah. She gets paid a lot of money. I know, but you earn a lot of money, don't you? Who does? You. Text me to be listening. At 106.9 SFM, we'd like to give away £1 million. Pounds. Well, we'd like to, but unfortunately, we can't. No! SFMradio.com. Caesar's Empire of Fun on 106.9 SFM. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Peter Mars to task you. Mar, I'm listening to you whilst working and watching yesterday's marathon on Sky. The closing and ceremonies next on my agenda. Wayne from New Zealand. <laughs> How you doing, Wayne? It's the Jacksons. Can you feel it on SFM? I'm Caesar the Geezer. Very good evening to you. Three minutes to 11 o'clock already. Blimey. Two hours have gone past really, really, really quickly. Everybody watching the closing ceremony, not many people sending me messages or talking to me on the phone. That's all right. It's fine. I know when I can be ignored. I ain't got a problem. It's okay. I can play music just like the next jock. I can be a DJ. Yeah, you're good at this, aren't you? Yeah, doing what? Playing the music and... Yeah. Uh, well, especially with some good music. So I'll be on my Facebook. We've got to quickly say hello to Sanya Preston. Says so she's listening to you live on the radio. I love she's Sanya. just yeah, she's just put that on uh, Facebook. Uh, Russell Cox, um, he's um, <laughs> relaying the joke you told about the young lady you met in the supermarket <laughs> earlier on. Uh, also, Rodney Gore is saying he's listening to Caesar the Boogeyman on 106.9 SFM uh, via Tune In, uh-huh, which yeah. is the little app it's you can app, get yeah. for your iPhone and whatnot. I got that. Uh, Terry Marshall uh, is saying, Good on, Terry. Uh, yeah, how much? Uh, enjoying Caesar on the radio. 
I'm listening to you love Mandy. Oh, I love you, Mandy. Oh, there are Mandy's listening as well. She's probably watching the telly and listening to you at the same time. You see, multi-skilling, that's what it's all about. Multitasking. She's a woman. Yeah, well, women are better at it than men, aren't they, they, really? Of course they are. Yes, well, you remember earlier on I put the uh, the message on the Facebook page. Yeah. Um, should Caesar keep the Elvis hour? Yeah. Chris Manic Monday says no, Cliff Richard hour. I'm sure he's taking oh, the mickey yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, Russell yeah. Cox says yes, he could also do with starting a bit earlier. Yeah. I am up at 5 a.m. Oh, is that right? That's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. um, Chris Manic Monday, um, oh no, I've just read his. Mark Foster, um, uh, he goes, um, uh, so don't really know. And Adam DJ says no, get rid of it. No, yeah. I don't agree. No, I really don't, don't agree. So we got a poll going on Facebook at the moment should Elvis keep uh, should Elvis keep the Caesar hour there we are there's something different eh? should Caesar keep the Elvis hour go to our web um, our Facebook page uh, which is 106.9 SFM with the point no spaces capital SFM on Facebook have your say come on should Caesar keep the Elvis hour we need you to go to the Facebook page now say no say yes Say, no. say yes. No, say say no. yes. Please say no. Because if I've got enough work to do. Yeah, but um, it's great to hear the Elvis out. I mean, uh, and and plus, next week's show as well sounds really good because it is 35 years ago. And do you know what? It just seems, I don't know, just like yesterday, really. Uh, it does it's... to me, anyway. Yeah, but Mandy says she's not watching TV. She listens to the radio. Oh, excellent. Yeah, but watching the telly at the same time, I bet you. No, she's not. Oh, she's not? No, oh, she, says okay. no she says no, not watching TV. Oh, there we are. Kiss. Paying full attention to 106.9. Because Mandy's a proper woman, that's why. Now, Nick Berry got really upset. Why? Okay, and I, I did t- his jingle. Yeah, you did his jingle, but what? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. What happened with Nick Berry's jingle from Caesar? <clears throat> I've got it here, actually. Oh. Play it. Oh, they are? Yeah, well, I thought that they told me there'd been some technical issues, you see. What technical issues? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but... I uh, of course, about five or six of them. Yeah, Nick, was, uh, Nick was upset because he, he wants you on his show. I mean, you know... Listen, I've done the jingles for him. Yeah, but, you know, you do all the jingles for Chris Moyles and all that, and, like, you know, know. our Nicky B wanted it for his breakfast show as well. Chris Moyles pays good money. Yeah, I know, well, that's true. Nicky B doesn't pay anything. (laughs) Well, don't tell him. (laughs) You got some sugar puffs. I got some what? You got some sugar puffs. Have I? Yeah. You left me some sugar... Is that that box of sugar puffs? No, they're mine. They're my favourite. Yeah, keep your eyes off. Oh, no! Yeah, all right, I might do you a bowl. What do you mean you might do me a bowl? I might do you a bowl. You might do me a packet. It's not the bowl. Do you know how many packets of trigger puffs I go through a week? No, I can imagine. Uh, listen, I can I'm, imagine. I don't mind telling you, but after the first bowl, it's not enough. You've got to have a second bowl. And I have big bowls. Do you ever have them long enough? If you keep them long enough, they all stick to one another. When you open the box, it's just a like box a full of... Yeah, nah, it's nah. all stuck used to one to, another. Used to, but not anymore. Because do you know what I now find? Where I used to have a cooked meal of an evening, where I used to finish work, right? I used to go home. You Is that call- you or me? No, it's the phone, it's a, it's a, it's a phone coming in. Hang on a second. Hello? Hello, Cease. Yeah. It's Andy here. Um, listen, I keep the Elvis hour. Oh, good man. <laughs> Hello, Andy. All right, mate. All right, listen, like you said, like you said earlier, it's the 35th anniversary this yeah. week. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was yeah. in America for the 25th. Yeah. And even though I was a kid, I can remember the news broadcast the day it happened. I cried my eyes out. Yeah, and I even someone gave me a DVD right recently. Yeah, and they must have been super rich to have had a VCR back in '77. Yeah, they were. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they recorded Leonard Parkin on the lunchtime news breaking breaking the announcement. Really? Yeah, and I've got it. I can send it down yet. I've got footage of all the all the London Teddy Boys had a memorial mass in Cockfosters. Really? Oh, I'd love to see yeah. that. Have you got that on video? I've got it on DVD. I can send it down. Oh yes, please. And uh, it's, 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 it was, and it, you know, Elvis was bigger here than he was in America. I agree with that. I totally right, agree with that. Coming up to the 25th anniversary 10 years ago, the BBC was running sh- shows all night, right? Yeah. Documentaries, right? Uh-huh. Now, I flew into America on the day of the anniversary. There was nothing. Weren't even mentioned. 
Really? Yeah, and that really surprised me. I was expecting it to be mental. Yet here, he was bigger. He was bigger in Europe than he was... Well, I, I believe that, you know, because at the end of the day, I mean, he's had a massive follow -up. He only ever came to England once. Did you know that? No, he didn't. He didn't. What? He came to Scotland. Yeah, he Scotland. Came to, yeah, he came to Scotland, yeah. Yeah, once. But that's he, what I meant. Yeah, yeah, for about two hours while his plane was refueling. That's right. That's absolutely right. That's the only time he ever touched base on this, on this, this in this country. Mm-hmm. I don't want that, Elvis. But I'll tell you something really spooky. Yeah. Right? Elvis died on the 16th of August. Now, one month on the 16th of September, yeah. Mark, Bo Mark Boland died. That's correct. That's and he was it. And because last week you were talking about, about getting psychic to him, because you know Mark Boland was a bit psychic. And he yeah. Predicted his, uh, yeah, he, he was. His, yeah, he predicted his own death. Yeah, he did, actually. You're absolutely spot on. Well, he actually said he was going to have a big hit, didn't he? Oh. <laughs> well, actually, no, I'll tell you something. You yeah. can laugh. You know the song Solid Gold Easy Action? Yes. Right? There's a line in that that says, Easy as picking foxes from the tree. The, the registration plate of the many that ran into the tree was fox. Yes. That is true. How weird was that, eh? And he always told everyone he would never make it till 30, and he died two weeks before his 30th birthday. Yeah. And twenty in the sixties, he was chatting with Simon. Was it Simon Napier Bell? Yeah, with that's his right. Manager, yeah, that's and they were chatting about James Dean's death. And Boland goes, "Oh, he said I couldn't go. I couldn't go in a in a sports car. He said I'd have to go in a mini." Isn't that amazing? It's amazing how these how these big stars all died. I mean, remember Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe? Yeah. There's a prime example. Now I remember. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'll tell you what. I remember when she died. When she took an overdose. Well, well, they said she took an overdose, but I personally think yeah, she was still killed. Open, yeah. yeah, I reckon yeah. it was. And then there was a girl who lived in uh, in Gillingham, um, who was a perfect lookalike of Marilyn Monroe. She actually done a double. She wherever she went, she did a double, and she committed suicide as well. Exactly the same way as Marilyn Monroe. I'll never forget that. Well, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll have to I'll have to send down as well. I've got the Radio Luxembourg. Breaking news announcement: The night Elvis died, right? Yeah. They have the they have the president and the Elvis Presley fan club on. Yeah, yeah. And they're and they and they're giving out the number of the Samaritans in case fans are, are distraught. Uh huh. You know, because he was a, a huge cultural icon, and they were worried that fans might do something stupid. Well, you know, I've got to tell you, you know, it, oh, I mean, I, I, I cannot explain it. it, it it's sad. You know, suicide, suicide is really sad. You know, it's, I don't know how I can explain that. But anyway, this is the gig's that good. Talk to you. Good, I'll, get that, I'll get that DVD down to you, Steve. Please, mate, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, and I've also got, if you want, Elvis' last ever concert. Uh, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, you, oh, you've got it, right? Yeah. Not, the, not the version that was broadcast on TV. No, the no, outtakes. no, no. I've got the, out, I've got the, out, the one with all the outtakes as well. Okay, well, I'll send this other disc down to you. Oh, right, buddy, thank you. Cheers, buddy. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Yes. Coming back to the Elvis Hour, the poll that we've got going on Facebook at the moment, yeah? yeah. Uh -huh. Danny Toomey says a Beatles Hours would be good. Who? A Beatles Hour. A Beatles Hour, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, maybe could we could alternate it, yeah. I could do that. And Sanya Preston has come back and says she thinks what would be a good idea is a Baron Knights Hour. Do you know what? I like the Baron Knights. Yes. Yeah. Were very, very yeah, funny. Yeah, they were very funny, weren't they? Yeah, what else? That's it at the moment. Did you like the way I bought this record in very, very yes, recently? Yes, yes, yes. I thought you might have found that quite interesting. Um, you haven't got any Baron Knights? No, I haven't, actually. I don't believe it. No that. Baron Knights. Have we Have we got any Bar actually, Baron, no Baron Knights? Knights? Any Baron Knights? Sorry, we was watching has the Olympics it, it, again. Uh, <laughs> what do you like? Are you on the same station have as we us? Got, have we got any Baron Knights? Any no. Baron Knights? No. no. Jason. What is, I don't know who that is. What, what is that? It doesn't... What is, I don't even know who that is. Doing that, he doesn't know who it is. There we are. It says it all really, doesn't it? We've got, we got a clip of Caesar, though. You got, oh, yes. Hey. The Nicky B. we got the Nicky B jingle. Oh, they found it in the archive. Let's have a listen, then. It's, it's unedited and a bit rough, but yeah, we've got, got it anyway. That sounds oh, about like, right. I like it rough. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hello, this is Season of the Geese. Just quickly popping in to say, listen to Nicky B's Breakfast Show, the best breakfast show in the land. And it's on between 6 and 11 o'clock every weekday morning. Hey, he's going to love that. It carries on. 
Oh, it? does it? This bit's better. <laughs> Come on, then. Hello, this is Caesar the Geezer telling you to join in and listen to Nicky B's breakfast show first thing in the morning. It starts at 6 and goes on till 11 o'clock. It's the best breakfast show in the land. And what do you have for breakfast is next? What are you having for breakfast this morning? Hello, I'm Caesar the Geezer. I'm having a little bit of Nicky B. <laughs> with a nice bit of slice of toast. Oh, lovely. Nicky B, have a breakfast show? What a better way to wake up. But He's going to love him. Hey, he is going to love him. I think so. Can I carry on now? Yeah. Oh, thank uh, you. Can you put a record on for me? Oh, for you? No. no. Oh, OK. Right. Yeah, That's I just think, I was playing I think... everybody else's requests earlier, no, and I, I never got around to you. playing one for myself. I'm going to play one for you, this one. This song reminds me of you, without a doubt. OK. Nah. <laughs> That wasn't on there. Tell me that wasn't on there. Oh, what is it like? <laughs> I was surprised. I think she's surprised. Uh, no, that bit wasn't on there. Oh, that was I don't know what they're talking about. Right. I laughed because she said you're surprised at her. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> that okay, was, okay. I thought that was quite oh, no, funny. I thought that was on air. No, no, oh, right. no, well, no, that, that was that's, right. I wouldn't like that one air. No, 14 minutes past 11 o'clock already. It's Hang never. On. It is. Is it really? It is, it is. Hang on a second. Hang on, can we move this button? Move this button. We're going to go. Hello? 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 Hello there. Hello, Hello. is that Caesar? Speaking, who's that? It's Tom Jones. Hey, Tom oh, Jones, Tom. how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I, I just heard that you're back on the weed. Yes, mate. I'm back on the... Do you know what? I've been watching you on The Voice. Oh, I'm enjoying it. It's a new lease of life for yeah, me. Yeah, I bet it is. It's fantastic. I mean, I mean you've got Team GB. Yeah. And, you know, on, on The Voice, it's Team Tom. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, I, I'm enjoying myself. I, I've been... Uh, the, the difference is these days, uh, Caesar. Yes, in the old days on stage, I would get knickers and bras thrown at me. That's true. That is but, what... these, but these days, it's, it's hearing and false teeth. <laughs> Zimmer frames. <laughs> I can... so, so, but that's what, that's what I have to put up with, you know, but I, I still enjoy it. Now, that's good. Oh, I'm pleased to hear it. I'm, but it's good to know you're still around, mate. Look how, look how well you're doing. Well, yeah, I, I'm enjoying myself. I'm, I've been over at the Olympic Village. I, I like sprinting. I like all the runners. Uh -huh. Because because I had to be fast when I was younger to get away after shows from the women who were chasing me. Of course, I can believe so, that. So that's why I like I like the sprinting. Anyway, I, 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 how are you doing anyway? I'm doing good, mate. I'm doing all right. You know, this is the third week we've been back on air on FM. Uh, okay, I heard, yeah. So, I heard through the grapevine. Yeah, I mean, loads of people finding out slowly but surely, and they're all logging on, and I've got this Twitter thing now that people are following me around in. Okay, that that's... No, how about uh, maybe you could come down and come in the audience to watch The Voice, because I'm loved... back in it with, with, with Jesse and Danny and, oh, and yeah. uh, Will I Am. I'd love you, I'd love you to come in. I would love I you to come in. I started on quite well. Dope. All he says is dope. I thought it's dope. I think it's dope. Yes. That's all he says all the time. I said, Look, what do you think? What do you, what do you think of that act? Will, I am. I can't work out his name. I mean, in, in my oh, in my day, it was William. Yes. But they call him Will, Will I Am. I know that's this is so, a, it's an abbreviation no, of Will I Am and then uh, William. Yeah, and then they say, what do you, or I say to him, what do you think of that act? And yeah. he goes, it, it's dope. Dope. Yes. So, and I don't know what he's talking about these days. I mean, I mean, you get the football. I like the football. Yeah. And you you get the Chelsea manager who got the sack, Caesar. Yes, I and know. Call, he's with Tottenham they, now. Yeah, they call him AVB. Yes. And and then they call John Terry JT. Yeah. Stupid, so, isn't it? So no wonder he got the sack because when he first went to Chelsea, he said AVB. I'd like to introduce you to JT. Yeah. And then there's a knock to go to the door, and he says, who are you? He said, I'm from the BBC. <laughs> and another guy walked in, he said, where are you from? He said, the ITV. Yes. Who's ITV, BBC, AVB, JT. Yeah. No wonder he went mad and got a sack. Yeah, no wonder. Absolutely yeah. no wonder, mate. 
Anyway, I've got Prince Charles here. You know, would you like to speak to him? I met him at the Dooley. You got Prince Charles with you at this moment in time? I've, I've got him here because we I sang at the Queen's Jubilee. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And uh, I, I'll put him on because he's... Uh, I'll put him on anyway. Yeah, put Charles, him on. Would you like... Oi. Uh, yes. What? Hello? Yes, hello. 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 Yeah, in bed. I, I used to be in bed because uh, on the Royal Yacht Britannia, and uh, I used to, you know, get you on the old airwaves. It was fantastic. I, I'm glad you're back anyway. Well, thank you very much, Your Highness. I'm, I'm glad to know that you're still there and that you're with Tom. And how was your mum's jubilee? Yes, it was fantastic. I mean, she she's a lovely one. How she manages to keep going, I, I don't know. I mean, on that boat on the Jubilee down the Thames, I mean, it was raining all day, and then and. and and mother's all right. She could she could have a wee in her knickers. Well, but, uh, <laughs> but father, father, uh, my father, he had to hold on yes. for, for, for all day, and uh, he ended up in hospital because his bladder was so big. It, it was like two footballs. I couldn't believe it. I've got to tell you, I, I'm well impressed with your mum jumping out of that plane. Very impressed. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she was fantastic. I mean. I, and and not, a, not, a, not a scratch on her. Yes, I bet. Not a scratch on her. Yeah, no, you know? try and, good. And I, I took Camilla to the uh, the horse uh, horse uh, event over uh, Greenwich Park. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, they, they locked her in the stable. They thought she was one of the horses, didn't you? But, uh, you know, <laughs> yes, I, 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 heard ter I heard terrible screams, and I, I went to the... Uh, the, uh, the, the stables, yes. and there was a, uh, a, a doctor there, I think they called a vet, and he had his arm right up uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Miller. Really? He, he, yes, he thought she was one of the uh, one of the horses yeah. in the, uh, the the dressage. Yeah, yes, it's, very so, uh, to, it's very difficult to it's very difficult to tell them apart nowadays. Yes, yes, of course, yes. I, I don't know where you've been watching the athletics. Uh, I, ha I actually, to be honest with you, athletics don't interest me in the slightest. Well, I haven't well, been I've watching got, it. I, Yes. Yeah, I haven't been watching it, but I'm very proud of England. I think they've got 64 medals all in all, if I remember correctly. Yes, but, but I think you should be very proud of your country, Cyprus, because uh, one medal was earned today. Really? Yes. Cyprus so got a medal? It was in the sailing, <laughs> uh, a boat event. Really? And uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, I am impressed. So, so, so that's one gold. And uh, there, there was a, obviously a very odd case. Uh, there was an athlete running the eight, 200 hurdles. Yes. His name was, if I can recall his name, his name was uh, Eleutherios Papandopoulos. Oh, yeah. And he was running the 200 metre hurdles. And what happened was, he, he wasn't wearing his underpants underneath his shorts. Uh huh. And his testicles fell out. Yes. And, and slapped against one of the hurdles. Oh, really? Oh, that must have been both. And he, he was in so much pain that obviously he had to stop. Yes, of course. And, uh, yes, I mean, if I was him, yeah. I would try to make make a, a, a good thing out of a bad thing. How's that? And I would, well, I would definitely have seeked a young female doctor and yes. had treatment, had treatment for at least five months. Go <laughs> on. <laughs> Which I think would have cured the whole problem, you know. It's time, <laughs> but, uh, it's time for me yeah, to go. But, uh, I've got to yeah, go. Uh, <laughs> okay, I've got, uh, I've, got, I've got a couple of people here. Would you like to speak? No. We're all mingling. No. We're all mingling here. In, in yeah. About, I've got, I've got, yeah, go on. I, I've got uh, Sean Bean here. You know Sean Bean? Sean Bean? Yeah, yeah. he's going to be cross-dressing, isn't he, on the telly? Yeah. Yes, hang on, I'll put him on. I'll Sean Bean. Oh, yeah, you need sure. to ask him about this season. I saw the pictures in the paper. I was quite shocked. Really? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Sean? Hello. Oh, hello. He's nice to see you. Yes, mate. Sean, how are you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. What's, yeah, it, just, what, uh, what's it about the cross-dressing about, the, you know... In the papers today. Well, you know, you, you, I think we've all got a feminine side of us. You know, we've all got a feminine side, and sometimes, you you know, you keep it to yourself, and other times someone comes in a room when you're dressed up in your wife's knickers and underwear, and you get caught down. But, uh, of course, yes. You know, I, I'm quite proud of it, really, you know. Uh -huh. I, I remember years ago, you know, and um, I remember years ago going out with this young lady, and she said, uh, take my black bra off, take my black knickers off. And don't ever let me catch you wearing them again. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, things, uh, what goes round comes round. Yeah, but, of course they do, yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing is, Steve, I like women, but 
I've been married four times now, and uh, you have, haven't you? you? Know, yeah, and I can't live with them. I can't live without them. So, you know, it's difficult. You I, know? Unbelievable! Man. I was I was talking to Phil Collins, I think, two days ago. The real Phil yeah. Collins, and he was telling yeah. me about that. He's been married three times, and it's cost him sixty-nine million pounds in divorce fees. Oh, that's, that's unbelievable! I throw him turn it's cheaper. Yeah, okay. I mean, my favorite, my, my, my favorite uh, song now is "Here Comes the Bride." Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite song. Yeah, I can yeah. believe that. It's, it's not bad. Yeah, I took my mum up to Scotland a little while ago. Yeah, yeah. So it took me more to Scotland to Edinburgh Castle, which you'd never been there before. Uh-huh. And uh, it's a Scotsman boat past, and they had a kilt on. Yeah. And my mum said, is it true what they say about Scotsman under a kilt? Yeah. I said, don't know. I said, ask him. So she said, uh, is it true what they say, that Scotsmen don't wear nothing? He said, w- would you like to have a fill? So my mum's 85, put her hand under his kilt. I've never seen a smile on her face like it since my dad was alive. Really? Yeah, and the uh, Scotsman said to me, Mummy said, well, what did you think of it? And my mum said, I thought it was gruesome. And he, he said, would you like another go? Because it's gruesome more. It's gruesome more. <laughs> 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 oh, very good. Very good. Oh, very, very yeah, good. So, anyway, I've got, I've got Andy Murray here. Do you want to speak to Andy Murray? Andy Murray? Yeah. Do we know Andy Murray? Yeah. yeah. Who's Andy Murray? Oh, Andy Murray. Sorry, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, put him on, yeah. Hang on, Andy Murray from Andy. Andy. Yeah, he's the tennis player. Hello. Hello, Hello Andy. Hello. You all right, mate? Uh, I'm very well. He got a gold medal. Yeah. yeah, well done on the gold yeah. medal, Andy. Well yeah, done. Thank, thank you very much. Done very well, uh, mate. Done very well. Well, yeah, you know, I've been trying the last couple of years, and it's been difficult. But well, you've had a lot of injury problems, haven't you, to be fair? Uh, I've had injury problems and I've tried, it's very hard to let the British public accept me because they think that I'm miserable and I, I don't like the English. Yeah. But I do, I, you know, it's just part of my job. I'm the only young still and hopefully I can, you know, get on more. Right. I, 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 I've, I've had my teeth have been playing me up lately. You want to be playing me up? Trouble, trouble with my teeth. All right, yeah, go on. Uh, I went to have my tooth out the other day and the dentist said I'll give you I'll give you gas yeah I said I don't want gas I don't want gas he said I'll give you um, an injection I said I don't want an injection uh huh so he then said um, I said I don't want gas don't want injection he didn't give me a, 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 a jug of water and two Viagra tablets right and I said I said what's that for he said when I pull the tooth out you got something to hold on to <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, anyway, I've got Billy Connolly here. Oh, I've got I, Billy Connolly. I've got I, love, I love Billy Connolly. He's got so many people there. He's got a uh, so house full. House full. Hello. Hey, uh, how's it going, big man? Uh, how's it going? I, I, I'm all right, Billy. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. I've just come back. I've done a series on the on the, on the television called Route 66. Have you been watching it? Sita? I've been watching it. Oh, it's excellent fantastic. program! Excellent oh, program! Oh, thank you, thank you. And I tell you why it's so enjoyable. Yeah. Because ride, riding a bike is one of the most fantastic things you can do in your life, Caesar. I can believe that. Uh, you know, you're so free. And when the cameras are not on and I'm riding along, I, I take all my clothes off. Do you really? Completely, completely naked. Yes. And it's such a it's such a lovely feeling with the wind blowing where you you've never felt it go before. I know what you mean. I do know what you and, mean. Yeah, don't and, you just? And, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and it's but I've been I've been watching the Olympic Games and some of these uh, um, uh, young men they fascinate me, Caesar. Why is that? Why do they fascinate they, you? Well, I mean, I'm trying to think of this Usain Bolt. I mean, what are the benefits of being the fastest man in the world? What are the? I mean, the, the benefits Good must question. be fantastic. Yeah. I mean, you're net. You're never late. Yeah. When you go on an aeroplane, you're always the first off the plane to get your luggage. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And, and, but there's drawbacks, obviously, with women. Yeah, it has to slow down a bit because they don't like it quick. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah, true, yeah. Carry, but, carry, uh, but, yeah, you know, fantastic. <laughs> but the downside is if, you know, someone wants a lottery ticket and there's only about a minute to go. Uh-huh. Out you go, you send down the road, quick as a flash. Absolutely. You know? But 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 fantastic, fantastic. And I'm glad you're back on the air. Thank you, Billy. I've got to go because we're running out of time. Uh, but okay. I'll, I'll speak to you again soon. 
I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye. 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 Oh, and right. a big yin on the show. The That's good, isn't it? Listen, we get all the famous people ringing on the show. I think we should ask Jason on yeah. the team here yeah. if, if it's true what they say about a Scotsman's kill. Is it? Is it true, Jason? What were you saying about the Scotsman's kill? Well, that, yeah, that un- underneath it's like you know, free and aerating and it's things. A myth. You know, it's it's a myth. It's a myth. No, it's not a myth at all. No, it's a myth. No, 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 no. It's Do you not know a myth where it was firstly found now, where people don't wear anything under their kilts? It was in Newcastle. 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 The Geordies. The Geordies started that trend with the kilts. No. Then the Scottish copied them. Yeah, I'm telling you. That's not. Who, who told you that? Listen, I. Listen, I've I've worn a kilt once in my life. Yeah. And that one time, down below, there was nothing going on. Really? Nothing going. Let on. Me Seriously. Tell you, I've worn a kilt never ever again. Well, uh-huh. you're not wearing much tonight anyway, so... No, I mean, no that's true. He could do with putting a kilt on to cover himself <laughs> something, up. Please, something, please. Put anything now, on. I wore a kilt once, never ever again. I might as well have worn a dress, because it went right down past me in the ankles, <laughs> and there was no point to hide what I had. Yeah. What was the point? Uh, what whatever. Was the, what was the whatever. point? Whatever. But it was, it was the Geordies. Uh, you can put that away, please. Oh, that's please. Oh, oh, that is... I'm just proving the points. I'm proving the points. Oh, my proving God. Proving the point I wasn't lying about please. the kills. Oh, I'm just proving the point Don't I wasn't lying about the kills. Don't put it on the mixer. Oh. 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 <laughs> Nicky B's got to use that fader in the morning. Do you know what? Oh, All yeah, I need yeah. now is a French stick and some ketchup. Oh, you're outrageous. <laughs> Shocking. I can eat that myself. That's in poor taste. That is, oh, <laughs> that is please. Bad. Enough of that, please. I don't like onions on the side. No, no, oh, please. Right, oh. 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 you know, whistle baby, whistle baby. <laughs> What's that smell? Right, pardon? <laughs> <laughs> That's Dan, who's out there. It's all right, don't worry, give it up there. Caesar's Empire of Fun on 106.9 SFM. Really um, catchy jingles, aren't they? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just had a, a, an e- a te- an e- no, no, a text from Paul at Newcastle. Oh, yes. He says, you're dead right, Caesar. He says, yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, it's We do wear kilts, uh, but... French stick, it's more like a panini these days. Oh, <laughs> that's the squashed one, isn't it? The yeah, panini? That's, yeah, that's, that's Newcastle for you, mate. You know, they're not very proud up there, obviously. We can understand that. Uh, all right, C's and the gang. Uh, what's it says here? Glued via the web. How about unscreened calls to awaken the freaks? Surely I don't think that SFM listeners realise how lucky they are. And whilst Elvis is hard to fault, Caesar can do a much more if they just got their finger out to call. Thanks for the laughs. And much more jingles, please. Have a good one, boys. And uh, that's V, the lesser geezer. <laughs> Bless her. That's good old V, that is. I love her. I love her to bits. Now, what are you looking at over there for? Your mic is on, by the way. No, so, sorry, I was just looking at Pete. Are you finishing my phone, Pete? Yes. Okay. yes. What were we going to do with the phone? No, we weren't. You're not? No, no. Why did you plug it in then? Well, I haven't. He just wanted to know what it's like to hold a proper phone. Oh, right. Still... <laughs> because mine's why, a 3G. Why is it I can't call? <laughs> why is it I can't call out on that if I plug it into my headphones? Yeah, you can. Give us it here. You can't. Look, I've tried it. Give us it here. Man. The wrong cable was plugged in before. It should yes, be right now. Yeah, it should work fine. Now. So, uh, what fader is it on? We've had the engineers. Matrix. Now, listen. Look, the engineer's been in and had a look around, and you've got him out of bed. Yeah. Okay, just to make sure that all this kit worked. Well, it's quite right, too, but hang on a second. And he's gone home now, so I I can't call him back again. Well, hang on, hang on, look. look. It's not working. (sighs) You need to get a proper phone. What is that house ring? No, listen. It's ringing, yeah. but I'm calling nothing on the fader. Is it on the right toggle? No, it's because his phone's not no good. You have to use my... Hello? Hello? You're live on the air. Be careful what you say. (laughs) Pardon? (laughs) This is Mickey. Mickey from Newcastle. Yes, from Newcastle. How are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> how's the how's the paninis? <laughs> yes, how's the panini for? <laughs> Why aren't you phoning the show? Oh no, for the show. Yeah, phone the show so I can talk to you live on there properly. Oh, you're ringing on it. All right, ring me now. Come on, ring, yeah, ring, ring I prefer away. his voice on that phone. I know, cause, yeah, I know. yeah, it's yeah. much better when he when he calls See, in. I'll isn't told it? it doesn't work. It works so, on my phone. You so, should use mine. Have I got to ask him then about the kilt thing? Yeah. Well, you want me to ask? Yeah, him? Yeah, I want you to ask him about the kilt. Hang on, he'll ring the he'll ring the phone up and you ask him. Yeah, I'll ask true. him nicely. Yeah, and I won't be you know. Now, don't be rude. No, as if. It's my mate Paul Ryder. As Ryan. if, yeah, as if. He's the general manager of Newcastle First Bowl. Big boss. Big boss. Very big boy. Yeah. Very good looking. And uh, you don't get excited. And a great accent. Great accent. Why is this big? He's keeping us waiting on yeah, purpose. Now. Yeah, was, he wants to get lock up and go home. He's no, probably he's been there right. since about seven this morning. The slave driver that you are. I was talking about Saint Paul. Oh, are we, are we not there? Oh, no, okay. well, no okay. we're not there. Well, I th- you know, I thought you had a team brief later in the week. He you know, he wanted to. He probably got to work about six o'clock this evening. So Do you reckon? Did, yeah, yeah. He's oh, only been there about five hours. He said last week that he'd been there all day. Here he is. Look, yeah, I was ringing that. Hello. Poor thing. Why, I man? Okay, the new. Okay, the new. See you. <laughs> that's Scottish. That is Scottish. That's not. That's not Johnny. What do you mean the kilt from Newcastle? How we am I? Is it, well, I was told that the the, the the Newcastle were the first people to invent the kilts. What a load of rubbish. Was it not true then? No, of course it's not true. Whenever do you see a Geordie wearing a kilt? I've well, seen, that's what I've, I thought. Hang on a minute, I did I've think seen that. a few Geordies wear kilts. Chris, I'll tell you what, listen, listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm up on my stuff here, just listen to this, right? Yeah, go on. The kilt is a knee-length garment with pleats at the rear, originating in the traditional dress of men and boys in the Scottish Highlands of the 16th century. We've been Since doing this research. Yeah, yeah. It has been associated with the wider culture of Scotland in general, or with Celtic, or more specific, Gaelic heritage even more broadly. It is more often made of woolen cloth in a tartan pattern. There you go. What's that got to do with Newcastle, man? Can I tell you what it's got to do with Newcastle? <laughs> Brutus wants to see you in the kilt. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> Let's shut him up, isn't it? Let's He's shut gone you quiet up. now. You can't hear that quiet. nice accent anymore. Yeah, what's happening there, then? It's uh, uh, sexual harassment on the radio. Just not on like <laughs> <laughs> Were you busy tonight, Paul? Heaven, mate. Was it really busy? What time did you Even. start work tonight? We had that many people in. I had to get two people in the hand out with a left shoe and a right shoe. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Well, no, listen, I want to know, Cease. Do yeah. they, well, they put your show on when you're doing your first bowl show? Yeah. Yeah, why don't they put you on when you're doing your SFM show? Because they can't. Why not? Because they can't have all this chit chat. Or the bowling centre. The bowling, oh, I, I mean, suppose so, yeah, they yeah, want they music, like, they? like they? to listen to music yeah. while they're bowling. Yeah, that's true. But, but I'm thinking of your PRS. It's, it's, it's a family show. It's a family show. Oh, yeah. It's also, a family they, show with no swear words. And they don't understand the English anyway. Oh. Up okay. there, they're a funny lot. Yeah, but you've got them all over yeah, the UK, haven't you? Because we're Scottish. Yeah. Is that your furthest north up there, Newcastle, is it? Or do you yeah. go further up? That's, no, that's uh, a furthest. No, Sunderland. Oh, yeah. Is that up or under? Stop swearing. How dare you say Sunderland on the radio? But is Sunderland <laughs> further up or f- down further? Oh, they're very down. Are they? <laughs> very down. See, they're further up. They're further up, are they? No, I'd see, my geography is not very good. I have been to Newcastle, though, as I told you. Newcastle, Port Times, a lovely place. Yeah, I, lo- I love Newcastle. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's the capital of England, you know, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> what is? Newcastle. No, it's not. London's the capital of no, England. No, 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 no. No, mate, let's no, get it right. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, if you went to the big market, see, so you'd know what he's talking about. I exactly. love Newcastle. I love Newcastle. I love the people in Newcastle. But canny people, man. Yeah, very canny people. Champions. Yeah, Champions. Don't Sunderland. They were Geordie, man. It doesn't work. It doesn't. No, they don't like it, do they? Especially no, with Sunderland. No. Especially with Sunderland were playing Newcastle. 5-1, I think it was. Yeah, it was, 5-1. yeah. That was, that yeah. was good, though, wasn't it? Yeah, that was just brilliant, mate. That, that was living the history forever until they actually beat us 6-1. So who are you playing? Hang on a minute. Who are you playing next week? We have got the Spurs. <laughs> my team, boy. Is that your team? <laughs> it's my team, yeah. So why aren't you coming up to support them if you're a true supporter? When do I get a chance? I'm on the radio. When can I possibly get... Unless I do a live show from Newcastle. 
Exactly. Well, you'd have to well, take well, me with you, Caesar, you wouldn't you? You should take your show on the road. Do well, a road show. We are. Well, we're oh. thinking about it. We're actually thinking about it, believe it or not. Well, as in first ball radio as or SFM yeah, radio? No, no, as in first ball radio. We're oh, no, about and SFM. You've got to take us with you. You can't just do it for first ball. You're going to have to do it for the network, aren't you? Chris, that's a great idea. And the first port of call has got to be Newcastle. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Newcastle will be my first port of call, I promise you. I will come up there and I will definitely do it up there. So does that Thanks mean... Thanks well, Chris. Chris, I think what we need to do now on a Sunday night, we have a new thing for your show. Yeah. We predict next week's football scores. How's that? Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, well, go on then. Start with this this, this crucial match. Newcastle this versus Spurs. Massive, massive game. Yeah. First, first live premiership game of the season next Saturday. Come on. Yeah, come Chris, on. So come on. What's, what's your Shoot, prediction? Mate. Not from your heart, from your head. Seriously, Chris. What from my head, I reckon a draw. What score though? One one. Because what we'll do is over the season we'll get points to see who's the closest. Okay. And what do points we'll mean? Predict that thing. All right. What are you predicting? And your mate, your your colleague blokey matey there, he can Brutus. join us all, and we'll yeah. have a little competition in the league table. Yeah. Okay. Right, you have to start. You have to start. To What's get, the okay? prize? What's the prize? What's the prize? Oh. Free game of bowling. <laughs> a night out in Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh, that's a good prize for me to win, oh, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> well, no, you that's can a win. good prize for anyone to win, surely. That's, that's the a, right answer. If we win it and you, a night out in Newcastle, if you win it a night out in London. Deal. All right, done. So, what, so, by the, so what's the... Is this coming out of SFM's kitty? Yes, absolutely. Great. <laughs> it's got to be first bowl. Yeah. It's got to be first bowl. No, 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 no. SFM's kitty. There isn't such a thing as a kitty. Uh, with, with, uh, um, right, come on, so guys, write, write this prediction down for Saturday, then we'll talk about it next Sunday. So right, like, we, we need our pro- production team to do right. that. So what, what, so what do you reckon the score down, is? Guys? Yeah, so... Chris, what, what's your, yeah, you said a draw, but what score? My prediction, I reckon, 2-1 to Spurs. You've changed it. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm thinking of my heart. 2-1 of Spurs. Right, so it's Newcastle 2. No. No, Spurs 2, Newcastle 1. Spurs 2, Newcastle 1. Yeah. Is it St. James's Park, is it? I'm going the opposite way, Chris. You know, and I've got to do this, but it's going to be Newcastle 2, Tottenham 0. So you're saying 2-0, right, write this yeah. down. Yeah, Paul. I'm getting it, getting it, So getting Paul it. says 2-0 to Newcastle, I say 2-1. At least I'm being generous and giving Newcastle a goal, but I'm saying 2-1. Wait, and your colleague? Bruce, what do you reckon? He doesn't know nothing I, about football. I reckon... Closest to the balls he's got, he's no idea. He's not familiar with football, <laughs> I'll tell you that now. Right. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, go on, what? what do you reckon? the truth. 3-1 yeah. to Newcastle. You're so used. <laughs> it's only because he fancies you. Don't get excited, <laughs> right? Don't get excited. It's only because he fancies you. Right. Right, Chris, here we go. I'll tell you what, five points if you get the actual correct win, lose, or draw bit, right? Yeah. And a bonus five points if you get the correct score. We'll have a league table and see how we're doing. All right, you're on. going to win. Make a note of this, though, would you? Make a note of it on your yeah. computer as well. This is an SFM production. <laughs> yes, it is, yeah. And I'll tell you what SFM stands for, but I don't think it'll be allowed on there. All right, listen, Paul, it's been good to talk to you, mate. I'll speak to you during the week. Yeah, I'll tell you what it stands for. It stands for Stad F'n Mackham. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. On that note, we'll speak to you next Sunday. All good right, luck. mate. Take it easy, mate. Bye-bye. See you there, mate. Right. Bye. You look completely stunned. No, because it's funny. Someone sent me a text in the week, yeah. and they said that they were trying to guess what SFM stood for. Yeah. I mean, you know... Was it six uh, sexy fit men? And I thought, well, they definitely know nothing about this radio absolutely. station. Oh, you speak for yourself, mate. Yeah, absolutely, wow, you know. yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. You still got his mic on. Silly, you? silly fat men. Now that's a more close right, to yes, it. Yes, well, see for us. Not... Silly fat men. If, yeah, that's good. Right, absolutely. Yeah, yes. yeah. SFM. All right. Well, we got ten minutes left, so anything Remember? goes on the phone. Well, Fourteen minutes. Well, all right. Fourteen but, minutes so. ago. But yeah, but you're going to play a record, so. Am I? Oh, maybe uh, not. Then. How do you fancy? a little bit oh yeah how about, about this yeah oh yeah now this makes me what is cry it? it's Peter Paul and Mary living yeah. on a jet plane yeah. this makes me cry this one does it yeah oh get the tissues out to go. I'm leaving that's a sad song. That right? does really upset me, that does, song. I've been sitting here listening to those lyrics. It's really sad. Why? Well, you know, because kiss me and smile for me. Yeah. Tell me that you'll wait for me. And then they, they go and, on the plane and... The plane crashes. 
<laughs> you're, you're horrible. <laughs> Go away. Well, no, it's true, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Why isn't it? It's just one of those things, isn't it? You know, when you, you know, yeah, there's other songs where they say, um, I kissed you while you were asleep and stuff like that. You know, oh, it's, it's just nice. Do you know the saddest song that I've oh, You haven't got it. I bet you haven't got it. What's Teddy that? Bear. Yeah, what, well, Elvis? I'm sure it no, is. No, not Elvis. Oh, no, who then? Teddy Bear by Red Savine. Oh, no. Do you remember about the little b- cripple boy? Oh, yeah. Uh, what a sad you, That's not that very was. PC. You can't say that. Disabled is the word. What did I say? Cripple. You can't say cripple. You no, I know. You general. must be PC. That's, uh, you know. PC? What's PC? It's a computer. Yes, that's right. You must be a computer. What to say cripple? <laughs> you're losing you're me. You're terrible. What? You, you're losing me. Just get on with it. I'm just having a look to see if you've got another favourite of mine, but you haven't. Oh, do you know what? We need to talk. <laughs> no, we need to talk about well, your music. Well, what's this? Oh, not the Baron Knights again. No, I was looking for Penny Lane. Oh, uh, oh, oh, please. By the Beatles. Yeah, of course it's on there. Well. I bet you're searching in the wrong column, aren't you? Do you know what? Just um, go in the middle. I'll be just putting Penny. Yeah, that's it. Put Penny Lane. He's, yeah, he's probably looking in the wrong place. I'm not. Producer uh, Dan, where is he looking? I'm not looking in the wrong Penny place. Lane, I'm impressed. Oh, it's, like... it's the Beatles. Penny Lane. Well, it's been another emotional night. It's five minutes to midnight. We finish at midnight, as you know. That's enough of that noise, please. Oh, that goes right through you. Bruce, it's been good. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? It goes right through you. It's the end of the song. Yeah, of course. It goes right through you, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, um, it's been another week. Another week's gone quick. Yes. That was going <laughs> to... <laughs> I was going to say it goes right for you, like, like a chicken tikka. Yeah. Yeah? Chicken masala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken's all right. That's, oh, that was all right. Have you ever had a fall? Oh, please don't. No. Have... <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> no, it's like... Not only have I had a fall, but I had a fall problem with it afterwards as well. Really? Have oh, you had a fall? Yeah. Burn, Seriously? Burn oh. me like you wouldn't believe. Oh, no, I don't think I could go that far. That's the furthest you can go in a curry, isn't it? Yeah. A fall. No, I don't, I did it as I don't a think I could do that. Never, ever, ever. I mean, I remember years ago at the Emmet Kebab Shop yeah. in South Norwood, yeah. they gave me, like, one of those really hot chilli Chilies. pepper things. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh. Well, that, believe it or not, is mild compared to what a foul is. Yeah, I know, I know. A I, foul. I've had a teeny, a very teeny little bit of a foul. Oh, Man, no, listen, no. I had a mouthful and sweat just poured yeah, off Yeah, I can imagine. My mouth, my throat was burning, my stomach was burning. Yeah, no, I can imagine. But the more, the more it's, the better it got. But I will tell you now, it was like a blood peach. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, honestly. I can imagine. I couldn't sit down for a week. I tell you, have you seen that, that, that uh, programme on the telly? Uh, what that? is it? Man versus food. Have you ever seen that on the... Uh... Yes, I have. Yeah, that yeah. guy goes around eating really hot stuff. I, and I don't know stuff. how he can do that. No. Nah. Horrible, but I have to tell you. Oh, it's no. been emotional, see. That's what was this. I get upset at this point. Well, I do. Time that I go we're home. ripped apart, aren't we, for another week? If it weren't for work in the morning, I would love to carry on till two, three o'clock in the morning. Because mm. mm. I mean, that's when people. Oh, the uh, guys next door will insist. Yeah. I mean, they <laughs> want to be here till two and three. Look at them. Oh, Look oh. at the excitement in their eyes. <laughs> Ever so much. And I mean, it was just sent me Paul from Newcastle. Oh yeah. Oh. Play local hero oh. last. Oh. Hold on. Who's local hero? Oh seven. Local <laughs> hero. <laughs> Yeah, no, just hold that, hold that, yeah, that's it, hold it there for me, see? Yeah. 07. No, no, so, sure. I can't give you his number, sorry. Oh, no. no. I can't give you his number. No, come no, on. No, no, no. Oh, did you, oh, I've only got half of He's it. He's already got a boyfriend, so. Oh, no. my God. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I can't do that. He'll get, Johnny will get upset with me. See, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Um, I haven't got it. He hasn't got it. Can you believe that, Paul? He hasn't got local hero. Who's local hero? The new song. Is it? Yeah. Who's that by then? Jason's probably got it. Local Hero. Local Hero? New song. Local yeah. Hero. You haven't got it? No. Now, you said it was 23.59. And 37. So we've got yeah. two minutes to kill. My great planning, that is, Cease. That's good. That's, that's very good. Why don't you put on Michelle by right. the Beatles? That's a good idea. Yeah, why don't you put that on? Okay. Anyway, um, so it's got two minutes to kill. <laughs> You're terrible. I like, I'll try to help you out. I don't know. I know you're trying to help me out. Michelle. I hate 
singing on the radio. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, I love it. Some people get away with it, though, don't they? Yeah. Well, you know. Michael Jackson. Oh, dear. So, what's that about Michael Jackson? I was going to say, I know Michael yeah, Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say he owned the Lennon and McCartney back catalogue. Who who owns it now? Is it the estate of Michael Jackson? It's the know? estate of Michael Jackson that actually. Right, we got to go now, see. Yeah, it's been emotional. Right. Yeah. See you next week, love. Yeah. Okay. Twenty nine. Twenty three. On FM and online, twenty four hours a day. This is one hundred six point nine SFM. Sky News Centre at midnight. The Olympics are coming to a close.